Hello. 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 Hey, gamers. Yo. What's going on? Oh, I tried I to make them be as rude as we are on Dungeon Select and yell at you as soon as you undefined. Well, well I'm used it. to the abuse. We are all very polite. I get all a kick out polite. of it, so um, <laughs> abuse me. I have issues. Um, welcome, everybody, to, to Dungeon Select on a Wednesday. What what a time to be alive, huh? D&D on what Wednesdays? Crazy. Uh, we're here as part of our monthly, uh, monthly month-long charity fundraiser for um, special effects. Uh, we are raising money for that charity throughout the entire month of November as a community, which uh, includes our little passion project that is Dungeon Select. So we decided to run some one-shots throughout the month. Um... Uh, get some people that aren't on the DS cast a chance to play some D&D on stream. Have a good time. Uh, we'll, we'll make the rounds for so that everybody can, like, I don't know, introduce themselves uh, real quick. For those that may not know uh, who you are. Um, <clears throat> tonight, we're playing a one-shot called Return of the Necromancer, uh, which is something I picked up on DM's Guild for a couple bucks. And I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to play that. Uh, a, little, a little dungeon delvey uh fighting undead that that sort of shenanigans um a couple of things about tonight's stream obviously the overlay as you can see we're using our charity overlay uh with currently 1180 Ooh. pounds raised for special effects already in uh, the first 10 days of the month which is amazing and we are humbled by the support we've uh, it's so fucking good to see that even a community of a bunch of like small streamers can Make an impact like this, you know? Feels fucking good, guys. Um, tonight's stream, uh, any donations made to charity can include um, a message, and in, in that message, you can put something that you want to happen during the game. You, uh, you want a player of your choice to have advantage on their next attack roll or saving throw or skill check, whatever it may be. You want to give them DM inspiration. Uh, you want to give them eight temporary hit points. If you know D&D &D and you want to get a little more creative, feel free to type out your own uh, gameplay change or limitation. You don't have to be nice to them. You can also be mean to them. Oh, yeah. summon an extra group of zombies for them to fight. Sure, that can happen. <laughs> um, creativity uh, is all yours if you want to donate to charity and in in impact the game that we're playing. Um, if you do come up with something <clears throat> that's like pretty intense though either positive or negative i would encourage you maybe make your donation value reflect how true. heavily influenced on the true, game true, it's true. gonna be yeah, I, like I've don't said, be like uh, i want to give them exhaustion and donate a dollar yeah like, no, 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 like said, I, i'm saying it. minimum of five pound donation for a gameplay limitation or, or gameplay change to happen uh, and obviously you know that's a minimum you can you and, can throw and if as you want to if you want to drop a tarask on us we expect at least a grand yeah that uh, seems well, fair <laughs> seems fair yeah <laughs> It'll be a very short fucking we'll one shot, it. let me tell we'll you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine someone just drops like some fat donation from the top and it's like, I want a TPK. And we're like, well, okay. Got Let's you. Go. Um, so yeah, if there's any questions and all that stuff, uh, obviously uh, we'll, 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 we'll be typing in chat while we play if there's some questions about the charity or whatever the fuck. Oh God. Um, Kyle can get revenge on me for almost killing him in our d, &D campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, without for any further ado, should we do a little introduction round for those? Because obviously, uh, Laura, everyone is familiar with on this channel, but you three, uh, not really, if at all. So I'll start with uh, Hanzo, if you want to do a quick little... I feel personally attacked. Introduction, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, you weren't in campaign one at all. What is he really talking about? Yeah, no, yeah, like, yeah, so, you know, <laughs> technically, technically Hanzo hasn't been on this channel. Yeah, yeah. Not lying. Oh, true. Yeah, 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 yeah true. Hey. Yeah, yeah, with a fat. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm Hanzo, uh, Hanzo Kurosawa. I used to be one of these cool kids who streamed playing the video games, <laughs> and then I decided I hate the world and stopped. Um, Fair. You'll see me around in Laura's Steam quite often, so I mod for it. Hell yeah. Uh, Fem? Uh, I'm. Well, uh, my username is femboy.sanguine, and I'm just one of the mods for Sodium Swedes uh, streams. That's how I'm in this community, and I love this community. Oh, yeah. And a fellow dungeon master. True! As well. Fem knows my pain that I go through on a weekly <laughs> basis. <laughs> No, it's not pain. It's fun. <laughs> no, I DM play with my players, yeah, not against DMing them. is great. Your players never piss you off at all in the slightest. Um... <laughs> okay, in that case, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> and uh, OSG? Uh, I think a few people know me already. I've been on this channel before. You have been. I'm basically Soko's favorite character, oh, favorite dude. player to, <laughs> to, to play with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I like to kill dragons. And uh, no, I, uh, I stream from time to time. I'm also part of the, the, the level select crew. Uh, oh, mostly yeah. the chiller kind of games like uh, Stardew, peek into Pokemon. So some Pokemon games come through as well. Like And uh, Pokemon, oh, like opening Pokemon cards, that kind of stuff. That is, uh, your Pokemon, a little bit, uh, like your Pokemon pack opening gem. streams, are some of the, my favorite things I've ever seen you do. That and being right. a man with a huge dick, and just for the second <laughs> time, second time of a zoo in the charities uh, uh, fundraiser, <laughs> you dropping some fucking big daddy money, big boy like holy fuck, dude! And th thank you so much, obviously, for I mean, the support on not only the first one but also this this charity run. Like you're you're speaking awesome. of that. By the way, the we are only about... 20 pounds away from Dutch having to play Sekiro. That's one of our next incentives at 1,200. So if someone wants to donate 20 pounds today, not only do you mess with our D&D &D story, you make Dutch play Sekiro. Force me to get, play, to play a game that I fucking despise. <clears throat> oh, fuck, I hate that game. <laughs> game. It's for charity. Yay. I also have to schedule a fucking League of Legends stream. Oh, yeah. yeah true. Uh -huh. Yeah. If you need players for League of Legends, you can buy I it. think we're full. I think it's because it's think, five players, right? Yeah, I think right? there's a full five I think it's me, yeah. OSG, Swede, Ethan, and someone else. Someone else by someone. Up to you. Get enough players for a custom game, and I can kill it, you. I, I think it'll be even more fun. I think it was Opti. Wasn't Maybe it, it was yeah. Opti. Yeah. So it was well, someone yeah, who was at the day one multi-stream. Yeah. So. Why the heck would you make that an incentive? Uh, because I hate fun. Life. And he loves charity, I and love he has to charity. undo his reputation of hating charity. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> dude. Okay, listen, we gotta stop bringing that up. All right, Laura, <laughs> Laura K. I can, I can, I can play D and D with these three, and I can kick you out. All right, I have that power. I mean, so <laughs> Ethan already wants to. He already asked you to kill me immediately, so I can I... sit here and be quiet. Well, Ethan's friends. gonna have to fucking drop the dollar or pounds rather. I saw, a, I saw a hilarious Fred the other day, and it was like. Uh, what game does everyone consider a must play that you have no interest in? And one of the top comments was League of Legends, and the top response with even more votes was like, who on earth is telling you that League of Legends is a must play? Even League <laughs> players will tell you to avoid it. <laughs> I feel like that's the, the case one. with a lot of games uh, that have like a big Usually following. competitive, yeah, competitive, competitive games. multiplayer games, like mm. everyone will just hate on them. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, without any further ado, I say, let's just hop into this. Let's go. As we begin our adventure as your group of characters, um, a band of mercenaries that have grouped up and have been picking up contracts from town to town the past the past four or five months or so. You're you're fairly familiar with each other, know each other's abilities, and know what you can ex that, that you can expect um, to put up a good fight um, against whatever life for the world throws at you. You guys are on the road and you've made camp for the night. Uh, you decided that, you, you know, you near, you near a road, you're traveling from one town to another. You decided that the, 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 there were some remains of a different campsite that, that was there a few days ago and has not been uh, used since. And you decided, hey, other people camped here. Sure, let's let's just take this spot. As you do, uh, and it's nighttime, I'm gonna leave you guys um, to kind of introduce your characters, give give a give a description of uh, of, of what they look like, who they are. Um, as you're all gathered around the fire, we'll, we'll start with Hanzo. Hanzo, what does your character look like? Uh, he is a two and a half foot tall, blue kobold. Yeah. Um, he is wearing studded leather armor he has a backpack and a dagger on his waist and and that's it basically he's simple simple as anything just dagger and leather all right and a backpack cute okay Fem? what's his name oh, oh yeah. his name is Tak taklak there you go is what taklak oh, ta taklak yes all right <clears throat> Fem, what does your character look like uh, Sililos is a light velvet, uh, 
lizard folk, and she has these large two ridges that just go from like top of the head all the way down, uh, just connecting at the back, and she is covered in. She's covered in um. She... As for as, as for clothing goes, it's it's pretty much just straps and the bare necessities in order to hold like her gear like to herself. Um, but she's not wearing any armor, which is very plain. And she is, she has a longbow and a spear on her back. Okay. Who is she? Uh, I'm playing Ambrose Blackbird, who is a an. an, an... A little, bit of, a little bit of an older human gentleman in his, um, I would say, early 50s. Um, longer black hair tied up in a little uh, messy man bun at the back uh, with a little bit of silver stripes in there that, that shows his age. Little short, well-groomed beard, also the same color, so black with a few little, little, little spots of, um, of silver in there. Um, he is wearing uh, a big black leather coat that goes all the way almost to the ground uh, it can't really fit like tight on uh, and it cannot really close so underneath you see a, a dark purple leather waistcoat and instead of the, the normal buttons it has some kind of golden uh, click mechanic so it connects to each other um deep purple uh gloves that, that he has and uh, he has some, some extra padding on by his shoulders and uh, no weapons but you do see um, a little walk, uh, a walking stick that he used to walk around which is uh, covered in a shiny black lacquer and at the top you see a silver raven's head with uh, deep purple crystal eyes okay Laura? Uh, my character's name is Milosu. Uh, she is a Yuanti pureblood, so humanoid, but, uh, reptilian, snake-like eyes, very kind of funky-looking Voldemort-esque nose situation, and a very, like, at first glance, like, olive skin, but then the longer you look, it's much more kind of yellowy, like, anyone else, you might think they were jaundiced if it wasn't for, um, what she is, and just wearing like a loose uh, sleeveless tunic belted around the waist with like some leggings or tights uh, underneath and some basic boots. Uh, her belt has two daggers stuck in it. And um, there's also like a strap that goes across her front that has like a boomerang on the back. Um, think like Songo from Inuyasha, but like a reasonable size, not the giant boomerang. boomerang? <laughs> and on her arms, Sorry. there are various scaled <laughs> patches um, uh, presumably snake-like scales, but if you look closer, the shape of them might, it's, it's like maybe slightly more leaning towards the draconic side than the snake side, but hard to tell. Okay. Oh, and she has flash like long <clears throat> red hair and yellow eyes. All right. So you've been traveling for pretty much the entire day. You're all sitting by the fire, having some food, kind of making some small talk. The campfire is burning low, and orange embers glow in the dark. The forest around you is quiet, except for the distant barking of a fox and the rustling of leaves in the gentle wind. But suddenly, a strange noise seems out of place, catches your attention. Um, anyone here have a passive perception of 13 or more? 12. A solid 11. Yeah, 11 for me as well. 14. 14? Hey! Then, uh, in that case, you notice the sound coming closer and closer. And it seems to be coming from, from some shrubbery near your campsite. Danger approaches! Immediately just, like, alert. As you call that out, you start you start to hear this, this, this deep, heavy, just... As heavier, heavier and heavier footfalls come closer and closer, as through the shrubbery emerge two large ogres. But their bodies seem partially decomposed, and you know, a jaw, jaws hanging loose, 
kind of like rotten faces. These ogres, um, you've dealt with undead before. These ogres definitely were dead at one point in time and have since been raised. Uh, and they just, as soon as they spot you and they hear the noise, make make effort to get a little, to, to pick up the pace a little bit. And we're just going to get straight into combat. I would like you guys to roll initiative. Oh, damn. Okay, damn. Yeah, Sorry, it is that. danger. You were right. You were, you were correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so for the initiative, uh, 20 plus. Ooh, Hanzo. Okay. Solid natural 20 on my initiative, oh. so 23 Ooh. total. Dude, all I remember you rolling is natural ones. What happened? I know, yeah. I was gonna say. <laughs> what a glow up. First roll star. Not 20. First roll of the. Someone else has to roll today. Oh, no. <laughs> Give me just a second. I, I, the more and more I stream DD, the more and more I've come to the conclusion that two monitors just isn't enough. There's enough. Uh, I, I also love how I'm proficient okay. in perception and have a one in it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Solid. Not a wise boy. Um, I'm a kobold. What are you? <laughs> anyone 15 to 20? Okay. Yes. 10 to 15? 12. 12. 13. 13. So a 13 for Sillalos? Is that, am I saying that right? Sillalos. Sillalos. Draconic for purple. My character is going to have fun saying your name because I basically am copying Dutch's Siren voice and S's are fun. <laughs> nice. Uh, Ambrose, what's your initiative me? Natural one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Both ends of the spectrum. Very good. <laughs> All right, give me just a second. All Can right. Start. So these two ogre zombies have now reached like 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 the edge of your camp uh tack -lack, you're up first what do you do uh i, I put my backpack on the floor mm -hmm. and i'm gonna rummage around in it okay mm -hmm. for, for the six seconds and uh pull out what appears to be a stick with a um like dragon's head on the end of it oh okay um, what I did out of character was, um, made my, um, what's it called? Um, Eldritch Cannon. Oh, oh, I know what it oh right. I crafted it in my backpack super quickly. But, uh, Had to assemble it. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, as far as everyone is concerned, I just run around my backpack and pull this thing out. All right. Um, uh, and then with that in one hand, dagger in the other, and you go, ah, ugly, stab, and uh, <laughs> run at them. Ah, you just run at them? Um, uh, I don't think I have any, do I have anything I can actually do with a bonus action? I don't know. Yeah, I can. Oh. Shoot flames at them out of my little dragon stick. There you go. Yeah. Uh, is that the is bonus action? Is that a, like a deck saving throw, I'm assuming? That's yeah, a deck saving throw, yeah. Um, what's, the like, what's the range on that? Is it a cone? Is it a, like, how does it it's work? It's a 15-foot cone. Yeah, you'll be able to get both of them then. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, stop. And then just run forward shooting flame at them. <laughs> okay, one of them was a natural 20. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the other one, a natural 5. So uh, I'm assuming the natural 20 saves. Uh, the yep. natural 5 makes it a 3. So the one that uh, failed takes 8, and the one that um, oh, succeeded shoot. takes 4. Mm -hmm. So you run at them and just whip out, like, while running with your pouch, you whip out this 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 dragon stick uh, and just aim it at them and there's this cone of flame just shoots out of it and immediately the, 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 the ogres kind of just kind of flinch and try to take, like, kind of def defend themselves as much as they can for what literally is just open fire. Um, yeah, very cool. All right. Did you want to move up yeah. pretty much like face to face with them? Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Uh, well, if that is your turn, the uh, first ogre, the one that uh, didn't seem to uh, be caught, like be caught off guard by the fire as much as the other one was, uh, just takes out like he is walking around with a with a big morning star and is just going to try and twat you with it. Uh, Tack luck. Okay. 
that would be a 16 to hit. Uh, just hits. Just 16 hits. plus. All right. Uh, let's have a look-see. Um, you take 10 points of bludgeoning damage. As there's this large morning star okay. just, just slams into your into your chest area. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that is its I'm turn. Below half health. Looked up for me. I know, some you know, big, big blocks, big fucking yeah, big. sticks. Real low know. level. It, it um, is. It is. What do you do? Um, just, I'm just gonna quickly be right back, guys, because my flatmates just got home, so I'm just gonna go say hi. Yeah, sure. I will leave you guys looking at a cute, cuddly teddy. There you go. Look at that. We haven't had this in a while, have we? That's yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Silalos. I, uh, she shall raise her longbow, pull back an arrow, and attempt to hit them. Go for it. Uh, which one are you shooting? The one that just hits your friend or the one that hasn't? Yes. Uh... I shall, yes. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll say the one that uh, has just attacked the, the small a small kobold. kobold. All right. Yeah, go for it. Roll attack. Oh, is it hit DC? Oh, there it is. Ooh, 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That and hits. <laughs> damage. For this sure. is cool. Okay, that's six damage. Six points of damage. Very good. Okay, okay. Anything else you wish yeah. to do with the turn as you, you're using a longbow, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you whip out the longbow. Knock an arrow, and without hesitation, these these ogres, they're large, they're very big, very hard to miss. You just fire an arrow, and it just impacts him straight in, straight in the chest, and he just kind of, like, kind of slanders back a little bit before correcting himself. Uh, and then I'll use reaction to put away the longbow, if that's okay. Sure. And then uh, I'll move closer so that I'm about... Uh, 15 foot away. Okay. Bro. Yeah. Alrighty. Is that your turn? Y yes. Alright. Milosu. Uh, are the two ogre things within five feet of each other? Like, are they... Did they come in next to each other? Uh, they did, yeah. They're, they're basically, like, side okay. to side. Then I'm gonna get up and turn towards them and just, like, open <laughs> my mouth really wide. Almost, like... A bit too wide looking, like you know, snakes can kind of just like unhinge like the, their jaws sometimes. Jaw, yeah. And just with a hiss, Same. um, just you see two bubbles of acid kind of come out of my mouth Ooh. and fling towards the I'm using casting acid splash. That's the way I'm flavoring. Nice. Um, and if they're within five feet, I can choose two targets. So they have to make dexterity saves. Dex saves. Uh man, I am rolling pretty fucking well. Um 18 minus 2 is 16, so that's a 16, and 16 minus 2 is 14, so a 16 and a 14. God damn it. Sorry. And nothing happens, because it's a cantrip, so they don't even take half damage. So I miss. The acid goes wild. Yeah, the acid just kind of splashes. Uh, you, they, 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 they don't reach quite far enough to, to you know, you're, you're a little too far away, and it just mm -hmm. kind of splashes on the floor, and you can see that it, it's starting to eat away at some of the grass and all that stuff. Uh, anything else you want to do? Right, scaled one. Um, no, because I don't want to really. And it's too late to use a. Because I didn't do that. That sorcery point won't help me in this case. So no, that's it. Okay, that's okay. all I'm doing. Uh, the second ogre. Um, Silalos, you said you moved up to be fifteen feet away from them, right? So you moved a little closer. Yes. In that case, it's seeing that uh, his homie has got the kobold covered, so he is going to uh, walk up to you and uh, is going to, yeah, try and just swat you with his Morningstar. Would I be in range to get an attack of opportunity on him as he's walking away? I, yeah, yeah, technically, yeah, they're shoulder to shoulder, so yeah, I'd say so. Shank him with my dagger. Go for it. Like, as he walks past you, you get an opportunity to quickly... 24. That hits, yeah. Nice. And it does seven damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Step. Very Step. good. Um, you kind of like, as he walks past, uh, you're pretty short. These ogres are very, are especially co like, compared to you, very tall. So you manage to kind of like stick your dagger out and he just kind of walks through it almost. And it just kind of like lashes <laughs> through his, through his like, to his like lower, lower leg. Oh. Doesn't seem to really pay you much mind as he just keeps lumbering forward. And then... <laughs> 
with his morning star. Uh, that is a 10 to hit. No. So just whoosh, poof, slams the ground right in front of you. Some of the dirt kind of like splashes like like uh, uh, like across your face. Uh, that was very close. But uh, there is now a, a very large towering undead ogre just looking at you. Uh, Ambrose. <laughs> Okay, I would like to turn towards the one that dot the one that did not get hit by the fire. Uh, okay. Um, if the heat can touch you, maybe the cold can. And I put my walk mistake and I put punch it on on the ground, and out of the ice shoot a light, a, a blue white light, right towards the ogre, and I cast a ray of frost. Ooh, okay. Was that just uh, an attack roll for you? Uh, yeah, a range spell attack. So that's a plus 23. Yeah, that hits. Yes, I, I guess that hits, right? You're rolling some uh, some big numbers, guys. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a natural one to start with. Big mm -hmm. numbers, big numbers. <laughs> that's uh, five damage. Five points of damage, that's pretty is, good. Yeah, five cold damage, and its speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of my next turn. Okay, good to know, good to know. I'm also really glad you had us like ambushed at night, by the way, so I don't just have disadvantage on everything I do. <laughs> oh, is that how kobolds work? <laughs> very grateful, very grateful for that, by the way. Is that how kobolds work? I didn't, I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah, I get I get disadvantage in direct sunlight. <laughs> oh shit, oh, like, you're welcome. <laughs> pre <-planned. laughs> Um. All right, um, so that takes us and... back to, unless you have anything else you want to do, Ambrose. No, that's my turn, I'm... Uh... So don't don't need to move. I'm good where I am. Very good. Uh, then uh, it's back to attack lag. Quick note: we just got a donation. Oh, I see. Did we? Hold on. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, the stream of course is delayed. So yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. I just, Let me have a look. I just saw something move in the corner of my eye. Like it. Oh, yeah. Jonas, what are you? What is what's happening? DM gets advantage. How kind oh, of you, Johnny. Jonas. Thank you. Appreciate oh. that. And thank you so much uh, for, uh, you know, the fiver towards charity. Appreciate that very well, much. Well, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, Chef. Tack Lack, it is your 15 turn. 15 more pounds, and then Dutch plays Sekiro. Shh, 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 shh. Um, okay, uh, well, since I've only got one left in front of me, um, I'm going to hit him with a 1-2 combo. Okay. Sh shank him with my dagger, and then spit fire at him. Hell yeah, go for it. Uh, 19 to hit with the dagger. Absolutely. And that's uh, 6 damage. 6 points of damage? Mm hmm. Very good. And then deck save. All right. Uh, I mean, that's just much. I mean, I have advantage. I'm just going to say that that advantage goes for like the next roll, which is this. So. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and that advantage gave me a natural 20. So. <laughs> Thanks, Jonimus. Johnny, look what you did! <laughs> oh shit! Uh, he still takes five damage. Though. I mean, hey, it's uh, it's it's something. Um, bum, 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 bum. Okay, very good. Is that your turn? Yep, that's bonus and thingy. I don't really want to move and get an opportunity attack on my head. Understandable. My head can't take another smash. Uh, yeah, it is now the ogre in front of you. Uh, it's turn, and uh -oh. it, he's just going to... Yeah. You stab him, he smashes with big stick. Oh, hold on. We just got another fiver, Hal. Oh, before you, you roll for this attack. It is his DM advantage. Next player, uh, next player character attack has advantage. So that Ooh. would be Sillalos in this That's case. Sillalos, yeah. yeah. So your next uh, attack roll has advantage. Um, as far as oh, okay, that, I don't think that's gonna hit. Let's say that's a ten to hit. Uh, like, no. So this time yeah. you kind of like as you uh, just again just this aim to stick forward and this this is wave of of fire. He kind of instinctively tries to s tries to smash at you, uh, but because he's kind of shielding himself from the flames at the same time, he just <laughs> hits the dirt right next to you. Uh, and misses. I'm not heavily armored boy, but I am fast boy. Hmm. Uh, and that makes it Silolos. Your turn. So the one that's now in front of me, I'm going to free action to pull out my spear and two-handed 
stab it. Go for it. Oh, wait, no, that's damage. Uh, yeah, so this attack roll will have advantage. Oh, thanks okay. Well, okay, so that's a 19. <laughs> a 19 that hits. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, 19. Doing, uh, I'll take the original down, uh, three. Oops. That should be plus proficiency, right? Uh, if you are, if yeah. your character is proficient, then yes. So that should be five damage. Five points of damage? I think. Um, I, I should say on your sheet, hold on, let me uh, quickly... Because I know you're not Six. familiar with the Indie Beyond. Let me quickly uh, have a look-see for you. Uh, you're doing a two-handed with your spear? Yes. Um, oh, it goes from a D6 to a D8. Yeah, so it damage. makes it a D8. Uh, you don't get a bonus to your damage because... Well, no, 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 because of proficiency. I don't know why the, the sheet's being weird. It's saying... Like, um, wait. Okay. Like, so if I roll this, what does it come up? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Not yeah. Proficiency, proficiency with the spear out. allows you to add your proficiency bonus to the attack roll. Uh, okay, so that should be six so then, not, sorry. not your damage to, your, to the attack roll. Yeah, um, you just don't get a... I guess because this is strength-based and you're more of a Dexy fella? Where's the spear? Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, spear is a strength-based ah, weapon, I guess. That's why. Okay, spear, yeah, no. I think the spear damage. becomes dex when you throw it because yeah. then you're doing... Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. When you're just like... Um, I knew so, there was something I messed up. Yes, you're fine. just three damage. You're fine, you're fine. Um, three points of damage. Very good, very good. Anything else that you can do with your turn? I shall screech at it. That's it. <laughs> <It's> understandable. <laughs> um, Milosu. All right. Um, they're both still up, right? I'm not, I'm not crazy. I haven't missed one go down. Okay. Um, well, since my first cantrip whiffed, I'm big mad. Also big scared. Um, I'm gonna just uh, hold a hand out towards them mm -hmm. and just see him say sleep now and then cast sleep. Uh, okay. So I have to roll 5d8. Um, okay. That was awful. I rolled two sixes and then three twos. So six, six, six. So 18 hit points worth. Starting with the creature that's the lowest hit points, if 18 is enough to put him down, he would fall unconscious. Unfortunately Balls. not, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I'm stupid! I'm stupid! The text says undead creatures aren't affected by the spell. Anyway, so... Wait, what did you just cast? Sleep. Sleep. But now I've learned that, at least before we get into the crypt thingy, at least now I know. I learned. True, true. My character learned. Because we're going to pretend fire, she didn't know that. You know? <laughs> also, what a garbage spell for me to prepare in this case. Good yeah. job, me. All right. Hey, now you know. Now I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it is what it is. It's yeah. fine. Anything else? Uh, I, don't, I don't have any fucking bonus actions that, that apply to that, so don't. <laughs> I'm just getting angry. You just start to see me like hissing, but like in anger at myself. And I'm like spitting. I'm mad. I'm okay. pissed. Um, the second ogre, who is still face to face with Sililus. Um, I mean, you guessed it. Big mace, tiny person, twat. <laughs> um, say 22 to hit. <laughs> That's hitting. Let's look. See, what dice do I roll? There we go. That one. Nah. Uh, six points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh. Okay. As uh, this time, you manage to kind of duck out of the way, but not completely, and it just kind of like the the big morning star just scrapes your arm as you're ducking out of the way. Um, so you don't go away completely unscathed. Um, right, Ambrose. Mm. How hurt does Dark Luck look at the moment? Well, I mean, I mean, no, no, no. Do, do, do you look bloodied, uh, uh, Dark Luck? Yeah, I'm, I'm under half health. Yeah. So, yeah, a little bit rough. I seem better okay. days. <laughs> okay, fuck it. I will walk up um, with the walking stick. Um, while walking, I grab from a little pouch on the side, I grab some powdered silver and powdered iron. Uh -huh. And I, I kneel down 
and I, you know, you know the the little birds you drew as a child are just basically little V's. Yeah. I drew that on I I, I drew that on your on your forehead with my thumb on the mid one. She will protect you, and I cast protection from evil and good. Ooh. Which means that until the spell ends, um, every creature that uh, blah, 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 it gives you protection against. Um, no, wait. Creatures of the following types have disadvantage on attack was against you. Um, okay. And that is. Here we go. Aberrationals, Celestials, Elementals, Fae, Fiends, and the Undead. Oh. So they all have. Um, Disadvantage on their attack rolls against you, and you also cannot be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. Shit. All right. Hell yeah. That's a good one. Anything else you can do um, to turn? Because I don't like to get hit, I'm just gonna walk away. Yeah, we can say that you, uh, you know, you, you stepped up behind uh, Taklak, touched him, and then and get and cast a spell, and then walked away without being in the ogres. Uh, immediate melee so you can do okay, that without blocking an attack of opportunity that does save me my reaction that's good mm. and that uh that will be my turn okay let me bring it back to tack -like. now with uh like the like blessings of what, I, what i assume is the raven queen mm -hmm. uh cool. feeling a little more confident against these these undead creatures what do you do yeah 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 me shut up me step <laughs> Hell yeah. Or maybe not. Uh, 15. Hits. Okay. These are very hard to miss. They're very I, large. I was going to say, I love how my worst roll so far is 15. Yeah, that's that's okay not the Hanzo I remember playing DD with. Holy shit, let me tell you. It's because he's rolling DD Beyond Dice. He's not rolling yeah, physical. Yeah, true. Oh, is that that's it? <laughs> um, five damage. Five points of damage. All right. And then you'll never guess what's coming next. Flame stick? Flame stick. Nice. I have a stick and it shoots flame. That's all you need it to do, really. Oh, that's a dex save, right? I keep, I keep fucking. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's say ten minus two, eight. Okay, takes full damage, which is nine. Nine points of damage. You're, yeah. This, this guy is starting to not look so good anymore. He, uh, part of his like. Part of the like wounds that were already there, um, just, just kind of cauterized, and some of the some of the fleshy like like parts of his arms hanging very loosely. He, he's moving a little slu more sluggish. He's he's not looking too good. Um, well, that's gonna smell awful. Yeah, uh, the, the, yeah. I mean, I can the scent that you guys are experiencing right now, these guys have been up and walking and have been dead for quite some time. This is, uh, it's not pleasant, let me tell you. <laughs> burning burn in, burn in flesh is not the nicest smell either. Oh yeah, and that, and that as well, yeah. Um, is that your turn, Taklak? Okie uh, this ogre is going to try and slam at you, but with disadvantage, because you are protected. That is a natural five, and that is a natural one. So yeah, um, tries Since to slam you with his with his morning star, and as he just kind of like two handed overhead just goes to swing down, just smashes the ground in front of you, causing the head of the morning star to stick in the mud. As he tries to pull it back out, he just he just breaks his morning star, and just nothing in his hands more than just like the, mm -hmm. the wooden. The wooden part and the the big like spiked ball is just stuck in the mud still. He rolled a natural one, you know. Um, and that's his turn. He tried. Silalos. Uh. Yeah, she'll just do the exact same thing. She will attempt to stab with spear. Okay. Thirteen. That hits. Doing... Oh, beautiful! One damage! <laughs> uh, you know what? Um, because this was an honest mistake, I'll, I'll say that you have a 
special no, spear no. that allows you no, to. No, 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 no. To... It's fine. I'm happy with this. Nah, you're good. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I, I prepared spells that don't work on. Undead I'm, I'm offering for this it to you. If, if you're saying no, fuck you, then okay, fair. But I, you know, the offer is there. If you want to say for the I'll purpose of this. Time. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I was just gonna say like because you know. But okay, I'll take my That's kindness it. and shove it up my ass. Um... <laughs> All right, one point of damage then. I'll be Dutch. I mean, that's where kindness belongs, really. You dug your own grave. Um, you die. Not my fault. All right. So I've, you've heard <laughs> it, it, I tried, guys. <laughs> uh, anything else you can do with your turn? Uh, oh, I'm taking damage. Oh, fuck it. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to make a bite attack uh, using the ability Hungry Jaws. If it hits, I gain two temporary HP. Nice. Yeah, go for it. That's not going to taste good. 16? Yep. That hits. Doing... You're about to put a Doing... rotten piece of zombie ogre flesh in your mouth, and I cannot, oh, I cannot ex ex oh, express God. the oh, nice. disgusting that is. is going to eat it. She will eat it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I'm going to gain two temp HP. Uh, does he take damage? It does two damage. Yeah, oh, sorry, sorry, yes. You gain two HP, right, or two temp HP, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. The okay. actual damage die was two, which is very fitting. Fair enough, fair enough. You know, an eye for an eye, I guess. E uh, equal trade. Um, is that your turn? Yes. Milosu. Well, magic has been failing me, and she doesn't know it's because Laura's an idiot. So, <laughs> um, we're gonna just grab one of the daggers at her belt and still just, like, hissing angrily, just try and whip it at the eye of one of these things. Go for it. She's mad. Uh, um, which one? The one that is, uh, engaged with, uh, Taklak? The one that's been mopping the kobold. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, are you for real? That's a 10. It's. Hey, hey, thank fuck. Uh, I mean, it's only a D. It's a dagger. It's a D4. It's not a lot. Five points of piercing damage. Better than my spear. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alrighty. Anything else? Um, When you take. Can I do two weapon fighting? When you take the attack action and attack with a melee weapon holding one hand, you can use a bonus action to attack with a different light weapon. So can I throw, can I throw the other dagger too? Uh, no, because it's melee. Oh, and it says if either weapon has the thrown property, you can throw the weapon instead of making a melee attack oh, with it. Oh, never mind. Then yes. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. I'm just going to whip the other one, the same one, and go for both eyes. Yeah, so you just chuck one dagger in one of the, in one of the eyes, and you just quickly, with one like smooth move, whip out another dagger yeah. from your belt, and you just... Try and chuck that That time as it well. was a 17. Yeah, that hits. Absolutely. Uh, that's only for three points of piercing damage. Three points of piercing damage. Alrighty. Yeah, this guy is starting to look very fucking rough. He's, he's not having a good time. Just two daggers just <laughs> stuck in his eyes. His, his fucking morning star <laughs> broke. He's having a bad day at the office. Um, is that your turn? That's my turn. Alright. Yep. Uh, the other ogre that is still engaged with Sililos and still has a functioning morning star. Is, yeah, I mean, it's just going to kind of try and twat you again, since you're there. I'll bite him again. Man, that's an 11 to hit. Nope. There you go. It's just somehow, your, your, your dexterous, nimble self manages to just duck and bob and weave between all the blows. Very good. Ambrose, your turn. Mm. I'm just going to do simple warlock stuff. Eldritch Blast. You know, against uh, the one that uh, is uh, bumping my little kobold friend. Okay. That's a... That's a 25 to hit, so I guess yeah, that hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those rolls are very good. And there's 9 damage. 9 points of damage, alrighty. Actually... 9 points of damage. What is 5 plus 9? 14. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you impact uh, this 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 zombie with the Elvish Blast, basically just creating a hole in his chest. This this guy with the two daggers stuck in his eyes, broken morning star, and now just a gaping hole in his chest <laughs> just, just poof, collapses and uh, stops moving eventually. There we go. There we go. Okay. There's one down. Nice. Then I will just 
turn around to the other one, you say, one down, one to go. And that's my turn. Okay, okay. Good work, flesh thing. <laughs> uh, flesh <tack> thing. <laughs> that's tack, tack, show you how to throw. How to throw. Pointy. And uh, I'm going to pull out my second dagger mm -hmm. and uh, yeet it, but I'm going to cast a catapult on it. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeet it with some force. Mm. Catapult is a uh, uh, range spell attack, right? Dex. Yep. No, it's dex save. Was oh, it dex save? Yep. Yeah, I these guys are in the direction, and good. if it's going to hit something in this direction, then. Uh, that is a natural six for a four total. Okay, then he <laughs> takes. 10 damage. I rolled Ooh. two natural ones on damage dice. No way, oh. dude. Aww. Don't you hate that? I mean, still 10 damage with two ones. Yeah, I rolled an eight on the other one. Like, I rolled two, two, two lowest possible and one highest possible. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, this one is also starting as your dagger, like instead of uh, kind of like just sinking into the creature because of, of the the state of their body and, and the fact that it's they're barely held together as it is, the dagger just pfft, darts straight through it and like comes out the other side and just plops to the ground as it just went straight through this 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 zombified ogre. And um, anything else? How far away is it? Uh, how far away is it? Uh, it moved about 15 feet away from you. Do you know what that sounds like to me? Sounds That's like perfect. Uh, flame for distance. Uh, be aware <laughs> that your party member uh, Stilos is uh, in melee, so um, you'll be able to kind of like position yourself in such a way so that you don't. I just uh, I still her. have all my movement. I still got first. Yeah, you do. Move. Yeah, you'll oh. be able to position yourself in such a way that uh, Stilos will not be impacted by this this cone of fire you're about yeah, to yeah. summon. Yeah. What a deck save, huh? Yeah. Oh man, that's a natural and seven for five. Uh, Dex, Dex is uh, not these guys, these these creatures thing. I don't know if you guys noticed. So that's... Another another nat one on my damage, so a uh, six. Ah, nice, dude. That's where all the that's where all the ones are, Hanzo. Yeah, I'm rolling really well on my hit attack rolls and trash damage. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, I'm assuming that's your turn. Yeah, Silalos. Uh, I'm gonna take the action. Disengage and then okay. run back about thirty foot. All right. And uh, use free action to st uh, stow the spear. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. That's that's my turn. Okay, Melosu. Uh, well now my daggers are gone. Um, do we whip out the boomerang or do we go back to magic? I don't know. Uh, you know, it had better look at the melee, even though it's only a not great type. Fuck it. Just now, go for the boomerang. Go for the one that's still up. Okay. 17. That hits. Bop it in the head. Oh, no, it's one of the damage dice. Two points of bludgeoning. <laughs> I mean, the boomerang just like, like goes and just... To the side of the head, and uh, I'm assuming returns to your head because that's what boomerangs yeah. do. Yeah, right? yeah. Never seen a boomerang been used in D and D before, so I have no idea what the it fuck. It was the on D and D Beyond. Yeah, I know I they. Like, oh, I know no. they. They like they are a thing. I've oh. never seen them used before. No, it says the boomerang's a ranged weapon. On a miss, it returns to your hand. Oh. So I guess because it hit, because that would throw off its. Trajectory, yeah, I guess so. You just right? so it's just now like, on it's the just ground. like plops yeah. to the to the ground. Okay, cool. Oh, that would make sense. Do. That would make sense, yeah. I, I have the return enchantment option. I should enchant your boomerang to be returning. <laughs> oh, do it. Do it. Do Hell it. Yeah. Right. Uh, but yeah, that, that's my turn. That's your turn? The only bonus and... action I have is using sorcery points, so if I don't cast a spell, let's see. No let's see. The Silas darted back oh. 30 feet. So this ogre is very dumb. Last thing that hit him was Boomerang that came from uh, Melosu's direction, so it's oh, just going to pff, 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 lumber, like, just lumber over towards you and try and twatch you with his Morningstar. Or a 18 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh, you take 9 points of bludgeoning damage. Ow. 
Um, Ambrose. Good sir. Um, how far away are they from me at the moment? Um, have you Not moved at all, far. Laura? Has Melosa moved at all? No. Then no. in that case, um, pretty close to you. Good. Uh, now wait, you moved up to. Okay. Did you? Move yeah, and then now and, and then you went and back. And then I walked back. Yeah, so, so like, um, pretty close to you because uh, Melosa was still okay. where she was uh, around the fire, and that's where the the, yep. the zombie now also went to. So pretty okay. close to where you guys um, went towards the, the the campfire. Okay, so um, I think the the dead uh, part of Ambrose kicks in, and he's just gonna walk up and stand in stands between them. Okay. So he's uh, like kind of trying to be a bit of a shoot. Sure. And he is uh, you know gonna step his his little walking stick on the ground again, and um, let the cold consume you. And they're uh, gonna do another ray of frost. Okay. That's a natural twenty. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Okay, uh, that's eight. That's seven. So that is fourteen cold damage. Fourteen points of cold damage. Yeah. And with that, as you kind of form this, this, this. Wait, I was gonna say human shield, but aren't you're are you human or are you dwarf? No, you're human, right? I, I'm human. So yeah, I'm human. I, for a second I thought you were dwarf. Uh, this human shield to protect Melosu stomp your cane on the floor and again out of these eyes this 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 ray of frost shoots out completely just encasing the the ogre with like a thin layer of just almost like you know you can see like some of the moisture that was there on its body just freezes and with and just the sheer impact and the cold you can see one arm just comp immediately upon impact just starts to crumble frozen like it's just like meaty frozen ice cubes uh, as the rest of him just fall backwards and just he just falls into pieces. I'm gonna go pick up my weapons. And with that, uh, you've survived the go. undead ambush. I want to try nice. find my dagger, but considering Catbolt yeets it like 90 feet away, uh, <laughs> make a um, <laughs> yeah, in for that. <laughs> Make a make an investigation check. Um, that's good at all. See, mine are easy to no, find. I, They're in his eyeballs. Eight. eight? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm afraid that dagger. Uh, you have no idea where it is. <laughs> it went. It's fine. I've got another dagger. All right. Did so we had some kind of of camp set up for like a yeah, fire or were, something. Yeah, you were or? getting ready to. Yeah, you were, you were camping for the night here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. And I, I would like to just walk to an ogre and just. Focus with my walking stick. Stupid ogre. Anyone want, want anyone want some tea? And I just go to the campfire and start making some tea. At <laughs> this Silos will please. At this Silos will run to the og uh, to the corpse of the ogres and start feasting. Oh good. Oh, oh good. Okay. <laughs> nice little snack. Nice. Mm. As we we're like gonna sip our tea, I'm just like, that's a choice. And just sit while I'm looking at Silolos <laughs> while I just sit the tea. You said tea time. It means food, yes? I don't think I would call that food. Hey, hey, Lizard. How does how does meat taste? Bad meat. Still meat. <laughs> mm. Me try so some. Where did they uh, come I'm gonna from? try a nibble. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> so, the doctor's like, this is not what I prepared seeing, for! Seeing seeing the lizard folk of the group start chowing down on this rotten ogre meat, Taklak thinks, ah, gee, I'm just gonna give that a try. Um, <laughs> I mean, would Taklak think rotten way past uh, do ogre flesh taste good? No, not at all. There you go. <laughs> it, was, it was gonna try it. It's all from Elsie, you know? It's gonna give it yeah, a try. I mean, yeah, fair, fair. Um, as you two uh, and and all of you, at, but for that matter, kind of you know rest the the the, the rest returns, shaking off the the, um, the 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 adrenaline of suddenly being attacked, kind of kind of fades away. Um, I'm gonna give it to Sillalos again because uh, your passive perception is pretty high. Mm. Um, as you're you're still kind of like 
chowing down on some chunks of, of, of gray brown ogre meat that basically, just by the touch of your hands, already kind of like starts falling apart. Um, you hear something. You hear this, this faint humming. Uh, and not humming as in someone humming a song, but more of like the hum of like... Like, like... Crystals are something magical, like a magical, just like low, vibrant hum coming from the direction where these two zombies also came from. At this, Sililos will go and fetch the human Ambrose without explaining anything and just sort of like drag, attempt to drag them along and just sort of like. Oh, let me finish my teeth. Pull, pull them into the direction. Before, of we, before we do that, before we do that. <laughs> oh, how? Um, those who took a bite of the ogre meat uh, because of a charity donation, I would need both of you to make a constitution saving throw. Beautiful. Clever. You I mean, I was, so, I was sort of expecting that anyway with my guy doing it. <laughs> you know? Con save. Fuck yeah, it's a 10. 10? 19. 19. Um, okay, we'll do it this way, and Make I hope Hal's okay with that. You. Um, Taklak, you take three points of poison damage, but resist the actual poisoned effect. Sidilos, uh, you are poisoned for the next hour, which means uh, disadvantage on attack throws and uh, saving throws, I'm pretty sure, as well as ability checks. I'll quickly double check. I think so. Cause hold on, I can check on my sheet. Mm -hmm. Uh, conditions. The according to D and D Beyond, it's disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. If you're poisoned. Yeah. So attack rolls and ability checks. Uh, disadvantage for the next hour. Fuck. <clears throat> for cherry <laughs> guys. Oh. No, no. That awkward moment when the guy... Actually, no, I was going to say the guy who nibbled it gets off lighter, but actually that makes total sense that the person who nibbled it rather than eating... Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, it. it does make sense that Silos <laughs> went to town. <laughs> <Paul's over laughs> whereas you only took like a small nibble and we're like, ah, this is gross. Like, eh. Yeah, it, 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 it weirdly, you know, all kind of makes sense. Oh, oh we hit 1200. Oh. Smile. Looks like someone's playing Sekiro. I guess I'm playing Sekiro. Duke, thank you for the 250, making it a total of 1,200 Ooh. raised for special effects so far. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate that shit. Very, very much. Right. So, back to it. Um, you went to go fetch Ambrose, Silos, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, and then sort of, like, push them in the direction of, like, the homing. Since Silos would figure that the strange one that can cast a lot of magic... That isn't the Yuan T. Okay. Strangely enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Might know enough. what this, this is. Oh, I, I, will no, I, I guess I, I will follow. Okay. My cup of tea. As you kind of uh, like follow, and you also begin to hear this sound, this just faint humming that gets louder and louder the closer you get. And if you if you kind of like pull pull away some of the shrubbery and peer past it, you see um, a circular arcane symbol still burning on the ground, emitting some lighting, uh, like a magical aquamarine colored light gradually fading. Um, you, because you are, uh, you, you, are you proficient with an arcana actually? Let me check. Yes. You yes, are? Sir. In that case, uh, you recognize this to be a teleportation circle. Oh. A, a, a portal. The remains of a portal that is slowly... Uh, that is still open, but the magic is waning. <laughs> well, this looks like a, a teleportation portal, if you ask me. Finished. Finished. Finished it, uh, my tea. Yeah. Still less nuns as if understanding what you mean. <laughs> well, you go you go through it and you end up somewhere else. It is like a door, but different. 
You go from one room to another room, but the rooms are not next to each other. Strange house thing. Still let us bug us off back to the campsite. <laughs> I would just walk, walk behind him. Just a... Okay. I get back, I'm just going to... Stupid house. Uh, I will just... What uh... find? Well, we heard some so, some sounds, and getting there, we saw a, a circle of teleportation. I guess that explains how they got here. Yeah, or someone else maybe escaped from them by using the circle. Anyhow, it might be an idea to check out where the portal leads to. Do we have time to rest? Would I know if we have time to rest? <laughs> Um, you, uh, because of your, your, you being well versed in magic, um, it looked like the portal is uh, was waning. Uh, you don't know how long it'll last. Uh, you don't know if resting will make it so that you can make it to the portal in time uh, to check where it goes or whatever it is you want to do. Well, I can't sure. say if, if we take a rest, if the portal will still be there. It looked like it was already fading away a little bit. Then I guess we don't have much of a choice, do we? I mean, I'm just gonna go start is... walking towards it. <laughs> I guess I guess we're going then, and I will without the fire. If Duck like shot but I'll lose boss. <laughs> Duck like I'll head over towards the portal. Okay. Uh does everyone like kind of move towards the portal? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Yeah. So this arcane symbol uh is a it's a it's a large circle in this aquamarine light on the floor and in the like in the middle of this some kind of vague shape that kind of resembles like an s uh, in the center of that s uh just like a bigger uh, a bigger circle um seemingly the like the actual like entry point uh or exit point i guess depending on which side of the portal you're on um yeah what do you do Step in it. I mean, I don't know. I'm asking you. <laughs> yes. I mean, if, if anyone tries to step in, I would like just like my little walking stick in front of them. I've I, I've lived a little bit longer than you all. Let me go first to see what's going on on the other side. Okay. Oh, we got another donation. Mm. Ah. Oh. No, no message. message just no just be, just a, be, just I'll a tenor. Streaming now too, so it might be oh, from. Uh, there's no see. message. Who was it? I didn't even see. No message. Oh! Okay. Yeah, no message. Just uh, just a kind, generous soul donating a tenor. Pog. We stand oh. those. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, so let's wait for Ambrose. See what happens when he steps yeah. in the circle. I just walk in. You walk in? Yeah. So you all just see Ambrose just disappear. As this, like, flash of aquamarine light appears in front of you, and when it dissipates, Ambrose is gone. Gotcha. I... And I'm gonna cannonball into oh. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was going to wait since he seemed nervous, but I guess we must follow them and look at Silalos. Uh, where did he go? <laughs> Follow me and just grab Silalos and walk into the Cilalos. circle. Silalos doesn't understand any of this. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> As you all step through the portal, kind of like one by one uh, stepping through, you arrive in a room with a low vaulted ceiling and stone walls, checkered floor consisting of uneven and filthy tiles. Two oil lamps in, um, in iron holders fill the room with dim flickering light. In each corner are four standing wooden coffins. It's eerily quiet, and the room smells of dirt, damp, and faintly of undead. The shimmering light of the portal by your feet fades away, and hideous laughter surrounds you, and a moment later, a voice appears out of nowhere, saying, I knew you would come and visit and seek me. At last. I immediately start looking around. I'm like, you. Confirm the source of the voice. 
So, you are, um, like I said, in this room. There's there seems to be one way out. There's just this this door in the northern, like in the northern wall. Uh, other than that, besides what I've described to you, there's there's not much uh, in this room. Willis turns to Ambrose and says, "Is this strange room, strange house?" No, it is indeed a bit strange. Would not n not be the kind of room I would like to have in my house, if I'm honest. But I guess we are here, and there's only one way out. So, how do we get to the other side of Portal? Well, you're there already. She is shocked. <laughs> I love like the mental image of like my entrance through the portal from Ambrose's perspective. He like comes through <laughs> and he's like investigating this room and then all of a sudden and this like kobold curled up in a ball just yes. like <laughs> lands on the floor <laughs> next to him. <laughs> uh since the creepy voice sounded, I'm gonna use my first level spell slot. Let me double check none of these really mm. That specifically says damage, so I can't use that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna cast um, the spell False Life on myself and okay. give her a bolstering myself with a necromantic facsimile of life. I gain 1d4 plus 4 temporary hit points for an hour. All right. Roll okay. Yes. Roll 4 on the d4. Okay. So I have 8 temporary hit points for an hour. Sounds good. And then I'm gonna, I'm also, since the, I'm like very quietly kind of occasionally muttering to myself under my breath, basically just picture now for the rest of the time. And it, you just keep, you hear words like voice and, and deal and must be him and like just weird word, weird mutterings occasionally coming from me. Okay. Um, to the characters. Where would the voice sound like it's coming from? Was it like an internal voice in uh, the no, head, it or is it all like, the kind of Seem to just echo throughout the room, but you aren't really sure. That you you can't pinpoint a point of origin, but the voice is kind of like echoed through the entire room, and it's mm -hmm. causing it so that it's very hard to really determine where exactly it came from. I think uh, I might be having visions after eating meat, meat pot. <laughs> well, if you're talking about the voice, I think we all hear that. And I will just walk out the room. Just okay. Slowly, slowly walk out the room. Yeah. Um, the door oh. is a centuries-old wooden door, and um, it's it's looking like. Hasn't really been been kept in good condition. It hasn't really been 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 kept up at all. Uh, but it serves a purpose. Uh, there is a lock mechanism on it, but the door itself isn't it, like it's not using it. It's it's unlocked. You swing the door open, and uh, you see an empty, dark corridor. Layers of grayish, uh, glistening spider webs hanging from the ceiling. Um, and it splits into uh, kind of like like a T set like a T section. You can either go left or right. Is there any sound or coming down either of the the hallways? Is there anything that would differentiate or pe or like catch eye or ear from one of them? Make a perception check. Uh, what's my perception? Nope. Seven. Let me have a look. See. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. No. You don't hear any sound coming from either direction. Okay. Uh, you just see me go. Well, time to decide, and I just pull a dice set out of my <laughs> out of my pocket, and. Uh, and I'm just looking, unless anyone else has any bright ideas. No, I think it's a good, a good time to give Faith a little chance. Oh, oh, I have more fun idea. Uh, and I want to put my dagger on the floor and spin the dagger. Oh, okay. 
that's more fun than my idea, actually. I like that. All right. It just ends up pointing in the room we already came. <laughs> <Just Yeah. around. laughs> uh, let's see. I mean, for the purposes of this, I guess I can roll like a, a if we include the way you came from, like roll like a d4 minus one, right? Well, that, that should work yeah. kind of, sort of. Yeah. One, two, or three. Uh, let's see. Um, if left is one, right is two, and three is back, uh, it points left. Well, it seems left it is. And, uh, I walk to the left. Okay, uh, for the purpose of this, can I please ask you for a marching order? I will go in the front. The I'd corridor you're in uh, is wide enough for you guys to go two by two. Um, but just give me an idea of who's who's in front, who's in back, and, and that sort of thing. Uh, I'll, I'll be in second position. Uh, does... does uh, sorry, was it Taklak? Mm-hmm. Taklak, sorry. Apologies. Uh, what, do, what do you want to go? Is that a pause? Great. I'd like to be right up front, if possible. Okay. Um, so right up front. Are you guys going single file, or are you guys going two by two? Um, probably two by two. Sure. Uh, yeah, we can do two by two. So who's going to be with Taklak? Uh, yeah, that in will front? be me then, because because I, I said I was going to go yeah. oh. in there in there first. So right. So we got uh, we got Ambrose and Taklak followed by uh, um, new character names. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Melosi is my name. Yeah, and then Silalos. There we go. That's uh, dude. Those L's, man. Those L's fuck me up, dude. More than anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in the back, you can call her purple if you prefer. Sorry. You can call her purple. Nah, it's if fine. You prefer. It's just uh, every time I, I DM players or DM players that have characters that I've just never in, really interacted with before, it takes me like an entire session to get used to the fucking names. <laughs> uh, like it's a fucking miracle that I'm not calling Laura Digan constantly. To be honest, that's it's already <laughs> like miracle enough. Um, well, no, because I speak in this campaign. That is so true. You are speaking, which is uh, something you don't do. In no sign language. <laughs> All right, so you're going left. Eventually about 20 feet down the corridor. Uh, it takes you to some some steps that go up, and above those steps is a, another door. Oh boy. I will try to open the door and see if it opens. Uh, it does open. It does open. Oh. Okay. If the door opens, I, uh, I will walk through it. Okay. And you enter a room with, uh, with a vaulted ceiling supported by stone pillars and the same checkered uh, stone tile floor design as the room you were previously in hand. Um, the stone tiles broken in several places. At the far end of the, ro- of the room is a raised stone coffin in grey marble. Two lit floor candelabra in wrought iron hold an eternal wake on either side of the coffin and fill the room with weak flickering light. Uh, and there's also a door on the northern side of this room. Mm-hmm. That uh, makes me think. Um, how dark is this place in general? Uh, well, dimly before lit. you answer, dimly lit. I'm going to use con- my control flame cantrip just to, du- to double the brightness of the candles, and that lasts for one hour. So I just kind of flare up Brightly in there. Brightly lit. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. So does that mean your boy's having a bad time seeing Hanzo? Uh, no, it, oh. it's, it's direct. It has to be direct. Oh, it sunlight. has to be sunlight. So, oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Uh, yeah. So now with uh, the the control flames, uh, it goes I'm from happy it, goes from, it goes from know? dimly lit to just bright light. Um, I'll give you an idea of how big the room is. The room is about fifteen feet uh wide and goes about 25 feet deep with at the end of the room this the stone coffin being with these stone candelabras on either side lighting it up um the stone checker tiles are about five feet uh each um so it's like it's like five rows of three tiles that that that, that make the floor 
Is there any of, is there that like S looking symbol that was in the teleportation circle anywhere in the room? Like, is there any engravings um, on the coffin? Make a perception check. For some reason, when you were like, when I'm gonna give you an idea of how big the room is, and raised your hands, I thought you were just gonna buy. I'm gonna give you an idea how big the room is. It's this big. So it's about this big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eighteen perception. Eighteen. As far as you can tell, no, that that symbol is not present in this room. Okay. Can I have a little look see in the coffin, or around the coffin? Um. Yes. But. <laughs> I was gonna say. As you walk towards the coffin. Um, um, you hit a tile. Knew it! Oh, no. One of the many tiles. As you hit the tile, oh. the um, from the ceiling, this blue arcane like bolt just <laughs> darts at you. Uh, reminds you a lot of the the um magic missile spell just an, just an immediate just pew, pew, dart of arcane energy that just strikes you uh in the chest for uh four points of force damage um, mm. and that cause, kind of causes you to like stand still and looking around the entire room are all like the tiles look identical to all another so you don't know which one it was that you triggered they're all the same color and they're everything. all the same like they're they're all the same design some of them are broken some of them are not okay. but over overall um you're not sure which one it was that 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 triggered the the missile but you now do know that this room does seem to be trapped good to know so much for having more experience than us Needing to lead the way. I mean, if you want to, you can go in front, but... Oh, oh, if I not, go in front. Uh, I go in front. I have an idea. Uh, he's, he's short. The things will go right over his head. <laughs> uh, I want to cast the shield spell. Okay. And then, um... Yeah, just run as... Like, because it only lasts six seconds, so I want to cover as many tiles as possible. Mm-hmm. Just run. Six seconds. <laughs> uh, in the direction of the coffin, or? Yep. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, you have a movement speed of what, thirty, maybe twenty-five. Yep. I think it's fair. I, it? I know sometimes. I know sometimes little. short races will get less movement. Short legs. I'll check. I'll check. No, it's thirty. Man, fuck dwarves. I guess. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> maybe just yeah. dwarves are kind of like clunky or they're set. So. Yeah. So you just dart and um, do trigger. A uh, a trap on your way, but let's see. Due to the, I'll say, due to the casting of the shield spell and you being very below average height, um, the missile just darts past you and just slams into the ground beside you as you just keep booking it. Um, <laughs> but you made it. You made it to the coffin. Yeah, yeah. Are we able to judge well enough from that which tiles are we have to hop over to get there, like to not step on? Play that game in fucking make um, um, fall guys. Yeah, <laughs> make a perception check. Oh. See if you paid attention enough. Seventeen. Seventeen. Um. Yes. You do. You I'm notice gonna, that oh, it is the second tile. Uh, like if there's like if it's like you know three tiles that go all the way towards the coffin, the second tile of the second row of three seems to be the trigger point. All right, so walk there and then just hop over that tile, like make a yep. little jump, and then not little, it's five feet, but <laughs> mm -hmm. get to the coffin and then shout back your turn to the other two. While the rest are catching up, can I uh, just check the coffin for anything unusual about it? Like any engraved text or iconography or anything? Um, yeah, make an investigation check. 20. 20. All right, hold on. My good rolls continue. Yeah, good shit, good shit. This is total inverse to <laughs> what you used to me. Um, you have a look at the coffin and 
What language do you speak? Ooh, are you asking that? Mm-hmm. Uh, common, draconic, and goblin. Uh, there is some writing on the coffin, goblin. but uh, <laughs> you do not understand what it's what it says. You can't read it. Okay. If I look at it, and I also have common, draconic, abyssal, and deep speech, can I read it? Nope. Pause. I, I will. I will try and make my way over. And very carefully with the walking stick also. Before I stand on, on every tower, I'm just going to poke it. Okay, nothing happens. And then make my way over that way. Just to be, just to make extra, extra sure that I uh, sure, get sure. the other side yeah. safely. Uh, sure. <laughs> um, what, lang- I mean, what language do you speak? Wood. Um, good question. Um, common and under common. So none of y'all, uh, well, Silalon Sil- Sil- hasn't tried yet, but the rest of you, no idea. No idea what it says. Silalus isn't going to try. Fair enough. Um, anything else you guys want to do in that room? Is the coffin, is the coffin says- open? Or... Uh, are you trying? No, is it, when we look at it, is oh. it open or does it look uh, no, closed? No, it's closed. Or? It's closed coffin. Sorry. I thought you were like asking if it opened. I'm like, um, yeah. oh, are you trying no. to open it? <laughs> no, if, if it is closed, I will, I will keep it. I will keep it that way. Okay. No need to disturb the death. Mm-hmm. We just killed two. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's not disturbed the dead that are lying down. Solid so, point. <laughs> those were... Undead. What's in here might just be normal dead. Creepy coffin in creepy house. Probably undead too. Does it taste better? Probably not. Well, this room I, I'm willing to try like a must. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> we come back when hungry. But 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 text here says I need steak. Although that might be in my stomach. <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> the best bit is no one else can read it, so they don't know. No, if we, don't know. we don't know. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Well, if it says I need meat, that would that would mean it will eat you. I'll make a point, and I'm gonna scurry to the other side of the room. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna assume that when moving around this room, you all are now aware of that one yeah. tile that triggers this trap. So you just do your best to avoid yeah. it. Yeah. Still um, a smart. No need to avoid trap. I stay here. Um, so there's now basically two choices: go back the way you came from, or go through the door on the northern side the other of this room. Tunnel. Oh wait, there's a door. There in is this a door room? in this room. Yes. My next guess would be the door. I'll oh, look at the doorknob before touching it just to see if, like, is, does it look like, is there anything that would indicate if I touch this door, something's going to, like, electrocute my hand or something? Are you trying to check it for traps? Yeah. Make an investigation check. Excuse me. Nope. Three. As far as you can tell, this door is trap-free. All right. Try and open it. Yeah, and you swing the door open, and it it hey. goes so with like with like a with like a loud creak, because as I said before, this place seems very old, and the doors definitely have not been. Uh, you, know, you probably need some WD forty, you know, in the hinges a little bit yeah. uh, or something. Uh, it's a, it hasn't gotten that for a while, so it's very loud and kind of eerie sounding. Like the the, the sound like echoes through the tunnel ahead of you. Mm-hmm. Um, this tunnel seems to kind of go like around the co- around the corner. It takes a left hand turn, and then. It's shortly followed by another right-hand turn, which then takes you into a small room uh, where there is a burning wax candle standing on a makeshift table next to a shabby armchair. Um, On the table is what looks like a wicker sewing basket, um, a sewing needle kit, and a spool of thread. Um, 
there is uh, the option for you guys to take a right hand turn or keep going straight ahead. I'm gonna again just quickly control flame just to make the candle brighter, just for a little extra light. Okay. Well, I'm not sitting in that chair. Uh, what is your character wearing, Laura? Just like a, a long, just kind of a shapeless, sleeveless tunic, but then it's belted, and then the belt has her daggers and stuff on it, and then just like leggings and leather boots. Okay, uh, I'm gonna walk and go, yeah, you seem to need light, yeah. And uh, I'm gonna enchant your dagger to emit light. There you go. It emits Ooh. five foot of normal light and then five foot of dim lighter. So t ten, ten, a solid ten foot of light. Hey, I mean, You're well, welcome. Thank you very much. I mean, I can see in the dark relatively okay. I just know most people cannot, and it's just a habit, I guess. But this is lovely. And put it back on my belt. Uh, without touching anything. Mm -hmm. No one else does it. I guess I'll just go look at the the basket. I just feel like kind of like visual inspection first. Is sure. it just is there anything weird in it? Is it uh, make a perception it look check? Out of place? So much perception check. Okay. Yo, where? Oh, there it is. It's like where'd my other d twenty go? I don't want to roll that one anymore. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Twelve was the DC for you to spot oh, good. this. There you go. Wow. Uh, some of the needles that are in the sewing kit seem to be flecked with a red dried out fluid. And the thread is oddly thick for an ordinary sewing or embroidery. Um, you take a closer look, and oh, it no. reveals to you that the thread seems to be made of thin strips of goat intestines. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was, I was going for sinew, but nope, that's it. Just go. <clears throat> Whoever was using this, not a normal craftsman. Uh, unless you know anyone that substitutes body tissue for thread? I mean, it would be a very specific kind of craftsman. Everything sells in life. We cobalts have same. Same material, yours material. Well, there you go. So we're looking for a cobalt, then. <laughs> I'm so tempted to sit in the chair, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Um, I'm an old man. Oh. I'm an old man. I need some rest. You're going to sit oh, no. while you're gonna sit in the chair? I will, I will sit down in the chair. Just you once again. Uh, uh, the uh, best I mean, what? as you sit down in the chair, it, it creaks mimic, and mimic, it seems mimic. very flimsy. Um, it's very uncomfortable. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you're sitting in a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Not everything well, is traps, guys. <laughs> but we don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's everything. true. True. That is true. I know. When 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 you said to Laura, like, as far as you know, the mm. door is a trap. I was like, well, here we go. Like, <laughs> as far yeah. as you can tell. Yeah. Well, this ain't the most comfy chair, but it will do for now. So, which way do we want to go? Would you like to spin your dagger again? You have fancy dagger. Spin fancy dagger. Put it down, give it a twirl, and this time I'm not gonna, like, I would not choose the way back. Obviously, so whatever direction it's closer to, even if it's not pointing directly yeah, so at. It's, it's basically, there's, there's it's basically a 50-50 right, yeah, at this point. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So we'll say that north is odds and east is evens. Okay. Um, Odds. Wait, odds is so yeah, because evens is two, four, six, eight. Odds is the other one, right? Yeah. Yes, I know English, <laughs> guys. Yes. All right, we're going north. Then. You're going north. I'll just point that way and pick up the little light. And now I'm just gonna keep holding the lighty dagger, just kind of like ahead of me now as my okay. source of light, since I have one. Very cool. Uh, eventually, this path takes you to another set of steps. Um, and when you get to the top of these steps, uh, there is another another like oil lamp sitting in 
a, a, a like a sconce on the wall, uh, kind of lighting up this this area. Uh, ahead of you seems to be just a stone wall, uh, but to the right there is another door. I mean, Laura knows this is dumb, but the last door seemed fine. I'm not particularly bright as a character, so I'll just, if there's literally nothing else in the room, I'll just go ahead and go open the door. Okay. Uh, as you open this door, uh, you reveal a small room, um, which seems to be like a collapsed corridor. Like this once was a proper corridor, but it has since kind of caved in. Uh, and the floor in this space is covered with gruesome body parts in various stages Ooh. of decom decomposition. Um, oh, good. Make a constitution saving throw. Oh, shit. Okay. I, I don't win these. Uh, ten. Ten? The, just the built-up smell of the various oh, rotting body parts just... You vomit. Just, just all attack your oh, nostrils good. at once, and you just, you just can't <laughs> keep it in, and you just start vomiting into the room, onto the floor. As soon as I'm done, I'll just try it as gracefully as possible, just kind of like dab at my mouth, <laughs> and just walk back out and be like, "Don't, don't go in there." <clears throat> <clears throat> and just walk out. Okay. I guess we're. We should have gone east in that last room. And if I see any, if I see not so much Sillalos, because if, if I see Taklak make a run, go for me, I'm going to try and grab him and be like, nope! Because <laughs> he's little. But only if he makes a run. You grab for him by the scruff of the, the neck and the just, meat. nope. Yeah, just like. <laughs> <laughs> not this time, you little shit. <laughs> Um, well, Silalus is old, so she, she she's not interested. Yeah, and she's still feeling pretty Fearful. pretty shitty. And, you know, yeah, you're being, still being poisoned. poisoned it hasn't been. Yeah. I mean, did we oh, see what was in the room, or old. did we just get um, Laura's character saying, did we see what's in the room, or did Laura's character just sort of go in with his door, and starts then... throwing up, and then just turned around. And, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, then, really... and then just don't go in there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so if you want to, up to you. I'm curious. I'm gonna have a a, a, a little, little a, a little sneak peek. As he walks by, I'm just like, "Don't say I didn't warn you." You open the door, make a Constitution oh. saving throw. As you see, just this like bloody mess of different body parts yeah. of different creatures, Without... all just okay, different stages of 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 of, of uh, rotting away. It's the world's worst walk-in freezer. Yeah. Plus three, that's a nineteen. You manage to get you. you, you... <clears throat> Did you manage to, to keep it in, but it's it's not pleasant. Not at all. I will turn around. I will turn around. You were right. Let's go back and take the other door. Excuse <laughs> <clears throat> me. Oh. Alright, to the other door in the chair room. Okay, you're going back uh, yeah. and taking the, the alternate route, uh, which leads you through uh, another corridor. About about thirty feet, uh, like deep, I guess, uh, and eventually gets you to another door. I'm a worse enemy. Open <laughs> it again. Two two for two so far. So fuck it. You're just gonna <laughs> swing it open again. Yep. Yep. Sure. You open the door and you reveal a room uh, with stone pillars supporting the vaulted ceiling. Uh, another you know stone tile floor, <laughs> similar design. Uh, some cracks in some of the tiles. You see four wooden coffins standing in the corners okay. of the room. Um, the southern part of the room, um, you see a raised marble tomb. Um, the room is lit by iron oil lamps on the wall and two floor candelabras in wrought iron on either side of the tomb. Um, you can see that directly across, so on the to the eastern side of the room, is another door, and you can see a set of double doors on the northern side of this room as well. Well, I mean, pick a coffin, I guess.
You gonna go? I'm just like muttering to myself in a corner okay. for for a second, seeing the big tomb more more just under the breath ramblings, while looking disturbed. Yep. Mm. What do you do? Well, so she'll just stand there ready with the longbow. Okay. That's all. Taking a minute to compose myself eventually from the the mutterings. I'm just gonna walk up to the, the raised tomb, because it clearly looks the most important. Okay. As she I'm walks, not gonna I touch it, but I'm gonna look at it. I will walk behind her just to make sure there are no traps that I can step in, because she's walking <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, make a perception check. Um, I guess both of you can roll, since you're all both kind of looking at it, or if you want... Uh, in this case, um, Laura to roll with advantage, and you'll be assisting her shatter. You can do that too. It's up to you guys. I will, I will assist. I will assist. Oh, okay. okay. Nah, first roll is better. Uh, 15. 15? Um, there is some inscriptions on this tomb. Um, most of the, um, inscription, uh, that, it like, the most it reveals to you is, uh, a last name, a surname, uh, Arcton. Arcton. Yeah. Okay. Um, which mm, make a history check. Fourteen. Uh, you happen to know that the Arcton family is is a family of of some nobility uh, in this in this area. Uh, so it seems that you've wandered into their family crypt somehow. All right. So I'll tell that to Ambrose. Um, and that's really creepy. <laughs> okay, that's not disconcerting at all. <laughs> <What's> um, <laughs> <laughs> my my IRL door just opened while you were talking about the coffin, just the crack, and it was closed. And practical now, effects, afraid, baby. Open, open <laughs> um. <laughs> um so I would tell the group that I get I'm guessing this is a family crypt for for some for this noble family. And then under my breath be like perhaps um like per perhaps they they're they're tied to to this whole thing. And just like more the the muttering start again. And you can see my hand kind of like hovering and she like like I'm getting real tempted to put to push open this coffin but i'm not doing it like like there's hand twitches and i pull it back mm -hmm. um as you kind of spend some time in this room the four coffins that are standing up in the corners oh good <sighs> slide open and out of each coffin this ghoul creature just comes <laughs> walking out and upon seeing all of you uh, immediately get ready for a fight so I would like you guys to roll initiative oh but me ah, oh Jesus how much time has passed Scary. since the the other Scary. fight we had I'd say uh, you know you had some tea you know, your yeah, friends no. decided to feast on some uh and some uh, questionable meat. Um, I'd say it's been about I'd say about an hour since you uh, since you fought those. Oh, uh, my elders. temporary hit points are gone. My flamethrower is gone. No. Oh, <laughs> no outside, it's just an hour. Poison. The poison is also. Uh, well, technically no, because the poisoning. No. Is, uh, it's been an hour since you fought. Um, it's been about forty-five minutes since they consumed. Yeah. Their, uh, this is fine. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, so thank you, thank Hal for donating to charity. <laughs> Wait, what? What happened? No, I'm just I'm talking about the whole poison situation. That means oh, that my that... I thought I thought he did something with the ghouls for a second. I was like, what? I mean, he can. That, He's that still, also... still time. No. Um. <laughs> that, al that also means that, that that my spell run out uh, to protect. Okay. You. Um... So we got like, like four ghouls, one in each corner of the room. Um. Just making these these guttural like 
some of them like just not having a bottom jaw at all. Uh, we quickly mark. Oh my god, my initiative rolls are something else. Mine are my usual garbage. I'll donate to give me my flamethrower back. Wink, wink. <laughs> Donate to give us random healing potions. <laughs> I love charity, guys. Donate to give me extra spell slots so I can do some nice things. Okay, dude. <laughs> okay, dude. Yo, donate for a TPK. <laughs> Thoughts? Um, I, that, that is an option. A, a, a small grant? <laughs> donate a small for, small donate donation for of a thousand pounds to immediately to end tube. this fucking one shot. <laughs> Small one for a million dollars. Um, no, I think it'd be more funny to make like anyone got Str Count Strahd von what's his face. <laughs> yeah, I'll, just, I'll just put Strahd in here. Fuck it, dude. Why not? Yep, just boom. He's here. Um, Level three. Let's go. Anyone got a twenty or more? No. Okay. Uh, Fifteen to twenty. Absolutely not. Got the nineteen. Nineteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Noise. Nineteen for Ambrose. Sixteen for Silios. Well, Silos. I keep fucking up the L's, dude. It's not hard, that noise. That sound is not hard, so I don't know why I keep fucking it up. <laughs> um, 10 to 15? Oh, boy. 5 to 10? Oh. 8. 9. Okay. <laughs> Drastic Nine. difference from the first fight for me. <laughs> Eight. I have a peppermint mocha now, though, so mm. I use good. I guess there are no longer four creatures. Oh, oh no! Oh boy! Uh oh! What's gonna happen? What did Hal do with another tenor for charity? What a gamer! And a fifth, oh. a fifth ghoul emerges from the room that you Dude. came from. And just, uh, That's just straight entering the room rude. behind you. Okay, this is good. More things to murder. I fuck with that. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's also easy for Dutch to implement because same stat block, same thing. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, like you know, putting, let a, me putting find a fifth something. one uh, on the initiative order. That's what we all have to do. Uh, <laughs> natural one on initiative, though. Know, whatever. Well, he is coming in late. That's true. I guess. You know what's yeah. great too? These are double whammy because Opti's doing his drunk Euro truck stream, and a ten pound donation is he has to take a left turn even if he's on a straight road. <laughs> so you're that's you're, awesome, you're, dude. you're fucking fun. with Opti and that's our D&D &D game all at the same time. That's great. That's fucking so awesome. That's great. All right. Um, that's amazing. With that, I'll quickly give you uh, oh. a lay of the land, as it were. This room. Uh, if you say you have your back against the door that you came in from, it's about it's about uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, no, 30 feet to get to the other side. Uh, and mm -hmm. the room is about 15 foot wide. So it's a 15 by 30 room, uh, like a rectangular okay. shape. Uh, in each corner of the room is now a ghoul, and there's now also a ghoul like in the corridor behind you uh, mm -hmm. that you okay. uh, came from. With that... The ghoul in the furthest left corner is going to move over to the duo at the uh, tomb on the southern side Aww. of this room. Let me quickly see if they have the speed. They sure do. For some reason in my head, undead creatures are slow, and D&D Beyond is just telling me, no, you're wrong. Um, <clears throat> so this first ghoul... They're like the running zone. Uh, actually, both of those, because uh, they rolled the same initiative. So both the furthest away ones, so the one in, like, say, the, the furthest away left and the furthest away right corner, are both yeah. making their way to the tomb that you two are at. And one of them is going to attempt to bite Ambrose, and the other one is going to attempt to swipe at um, uh, Milosu with, uh, with his claws. So we'll go for the bite attack first. That is a natural 9 plus 2, 11 to hit Ambrose. Hell no. Okay. And then the claw, it would be a, a 15 to hit Melosu. Damn it. That, yeah, that hits. That hits. Okay. Um, you take... I'm going down this fight, fam. So you, Ambrose, kind of like... Take... What kind of gear is uh, Ambrose wearing? He's just wearing a... Uh... Le leather armor. Leather armor, so yeah, you kind of like, just like... Kind of, that's how it looks like. Take cover from the bite and just let him kind of like put his teeth in, in the thick leather uh, and it just protects it protects you from the from the actual... from the, from the jagged fangs and, and crooked teeth. Um, 
Melosu, unfortunately, not so uh, not so lucky as this claw just swipes across your face. Uh, you take um, five points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, and you are neither elf nor undead. No. So I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Okay. Nope. Ten. Ten? Yep. That was the DC. Oh, thank you. You begin to feel your muscles kind of like tighten and movement becomes hard. But after a couple of seconds, you kind of, you kind of bite through Ooh, that and here. your body is your own again. Um, oh, boy. That is their turns. Ambrose, you're up. Okay, then have some fun. with an spell I have never heard before, but I'm going to cast Chaos Bolt. Ooh. And there, there, there are some things with this, so okay. please bear with me. <laughs> Let me quickly open the spell as well, so I can read along. Because it has a lot of things going on. Uh, so, say same wave casting, so I just find the, the walking stick on the, on the ground, and from the, the little raven head, shoots a, a wobbling mass of chaotic energy. Damn. Um... And that is a ranged spell attack. So let me roll that real quick. Oh, and you can basically you roll a dice to determine what the damage type is. That's that's cool. That's fucking. Yeah, cool. and if I and if I roll Chaos. and if I roll the same numbers, I can let it bounce to another character. Oh, wow. Okay. So could go very well, or it is just for one. Um, I rolled a. Hold up. What was this? Plus six is a twenty-two to hit. That does hit, and yes. I will just go for the one that tries to attack me. Okay. Because rude. You don't do that against an old man. Mm -hmm. And that is <laughs> 1d6 plus 2d8. Let me go for this one. This is 6 on the d6. Nice. Oh, that's very nice. That That's double sevens. Double sevens. Um, yes. Which means it will be psychic damage. So this guy will take 7, 14, plus 6, 20 psychic damage. Fucking hell, all right. Jesus. And because I rolled the same number, I can make it bounce to a different target. Mm -hmm. And then we start over again. So do this again, one will, do it again, do it again. It will it jump. Oh, so in theory, it could just fucking like bounce, bounce, yeah. bounce. If, if that's sick, dude. Yeah. That's so cool. If, oh, if, 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 if the dice will let me, you can basically have like, until the fight is over, I have to just let it bounce. That's fucking wild. It, okay, yeah. I mean, you got to be no, like, can, oh, can, can, insanely can, lucky, but yeah. Like, yeah, and you can, I can only target a character once. So I, if there are like five, I can hit yeah. them all five and then the, yeah. the, then the spell you can, will like, It can't keep like bouncing between the same two, like back and forth. Yeah, but then I... I need, I need some good rolls on that, if, that's one, if I want that to happen. Gotcha, gotcha, okay, gotcha. So, this one goes to the one that uh, attacked... Milosu? Yes. Milosu? Yes. And that's a... I'm probably very well. That's a natural 20. Fuck me. Yes. Mate, I... Let's go. So, here we go. D6, that's a 3. 2 d eight. That... <laughs> Have you done it? You did not. That's two ones. That's just two Jesus. ones. <laughs> oh, so because it is a it is a one, that will mean that is acid um, acid damage. So that okay. is one, two, this is five. Such a fun spell. That's awesome. Five acid damage. Five points oh, acid yeah. damage. All right. You gonna do it again? So now, and like, I what's the like the what is the range on like the bouncing? Uh, thirty feet, and yeah, that is like the size 30 of the feet, room. So, so yeah, it can just <laughs> dart towards one of the other the other ones. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we have one at the. So we have two of our players are still right by the entrance, right? So um, there, there should be one closer to them on, on that corner. Yes, the t the the two of you that aren't by the, uh, like raised up tomb are still like by the entrance, which means that they pretty much have. A ghoul to their left, a ghoul to their right, and now also a ghoul behind them. And the one, the one to the left came towards us, right? No. Or uh, were the other, the other ones? Th there's one ghoul coming from each corner of the room. So the two furthest away corners came to you guys. The other two. Oh, oh, and now also this okay. third one that came okay. out of nowhere are all like 
around your okay, yeah. your, your allies. Okay, I, I, I felt I felt the two out the first corners away from the Thum came towards us, but it's no. the other way around. Okay. Um in that case I will just go to um the to the one closest to the tomb right now and closest to the to the to the other players. Okay. That's legit, Johnny. That's legit. This is the magic, the D&D version of Yondu. That's a of the 17 to hit. That hits. That's a... I've not seen this six, spell bounce. That's a 6 on the D6. And... Oh, that's an 8 and a 6. So oh. I can choose now what kind of damage I want I want to take. Because I can either take the 8 or the 6. Huh. Um... Okay, let's go. For, let's go for eight. So that's the this. This will be thunder damage. So that is fourteen. Another. There's also another twenty damage. So that's twenty thunder damage. Twenty thunder damage. But it does not bounce away because you didn't roll the same no. number twice, right? Yeah. So sure. you, out of this, um, like raven head, the silver raven resting on top of your cane, shoots this like this whirling mass of energy, constantly changing colors, dealing. Acid damage to one, thunder damage to another, and I believe the initial one was psychic damage, if I'm not mistaken. I think uh, so. Just constantly yeah, changing yeah. colors. Just... Dope. But eventually, after hitting the third uh, ghoul, does fizzle out. That is a fucking wow. cool spell. Wow. That went a lot better than expected, if what I'm honest. What classes have access to that spell? Because I need it. Uh... Sorcerer's it's, 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 uh, it's just a sorcerer spell. God damn yeah, it. it's on the, source, it's on the sorcerer spell list. Spell. Other classes will have, yeah. you know, can have so, access oh, to it. But it's on the sorcerer it's spell list. That's fucking sick. <laughs> I'd never heard of that spell which, before. Which spell was it? Chaos Same, never heard of it. Chaos 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 oh, yeah. I, I saw it, I was like, that's sick. I wanna, I wanna give that yeah, one a try. Cool um, okay, so, is that your turn, Ambrose? That's it. Man. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Sililos, <laughs> you're up. Almost, almost, almost 50 damage. <laughs> are there in uh, two? Uh, okay, are the, are the two? Uh, I'm going to say ghouls uh, that are within 10 feet of each other. Of each other? No. There's okay. one like basically to your left in the corner. There's one to your right in the corner, and there's one coming from behind you, like 10 feet down the hall. Uh, so they're not within 10 feet of each other. No. Uh, okay, separated. the one to my left. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna just fire an arrow at him. Sure. And... Eighteen. Uh, that hits, yeah. Okay, doing uh, eleven damage. And if he's still up, then I'm gonna use one of my arcane shots. Uh, no, this would be the one that also got chaos bolted. So you just fire an oh. arrow lands right between the eyes and this ghoul just goes just, just lights out shit no mind then uh, <laughs> nice uh yeah I don't, I don't, um is okay is is there any it, i'm gonna move to wherever is furthest from every creature in the room if that's possible uh that would in this case either be like the back like left corner of the, the room, ones, or the, yeah. the 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 further away left corner of the room. Uh, yeah, I'll do, I'll... both corners are kind of like equidistant from the duo of ghouls at the at the the tomb. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll go to the left side then. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's me. Alrighty, um, the ghoul on the back uh, on the right hand side. Uh, since Sililos has fucked off, is going to move towards um, our kobold friend, who is still at the entrance to the room, uh -oh. and is going to try and take a little nibble. Have a little bite. That's not going to fucking hit. That's a seven to I'm hit. I'm also having a little bite. <laughs> uh, doesn't <laughs> seven doesn't hit. Uh, yeah, do you manage to, you see this thing coming, just like this, kind of like hobbling towards you, and as it tries to, to bite at you, you just duck down, and you can hit, you can hear the teeth kind of crack as, as the mouth closes again, with the amount of force that it, that it closed its mouth, to try and bite you, to no avail, um, 
that ghoul would have a turn, but he's dead. Uh, it's Aklak. It's your turn. Uh, I was going to make myself a new flamethrower, but I don't really want to do it with a guy in my face. <laughs> trying to dom me. Understandable. Yeah, I, I, I thought so too. Um... So I'm going to go for um, a little can trip, which is green flame blade. Oh. So I'm going to coat my, my wee little dagger in fire and try to stab the guy in front of me. Go for it. Uh, 21. Yeah, that hits. He takes seven damage. Seven points of damage. Oh, actually, is there actually anyone else? <laughs> I've only realized it only jumps five feet. Sorry? Is there even another... Is It only jumps five feet. Is there actually even another goal within five feet? No, that could no, there isn't. Okay, then. My attack just looked cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, your, your, your <laughs> dagger just encasing this, this like, green fire and just stabbing... I mean, style the points, you know? Yeah, style exactly, absolutely style points. Style points get you very far. Um, Is that your turn? Oh, right. Yep, I can't bonus action spam when I don't have my flame for. <laughs> unfortunate, unfortunate. Um, what's up, Pen? I forgot my disadvantage. Um, oh, well, I did I too, just, so you're fine. <laughs> I rolled again. I rolled again just to see what okay. it might have been. It, the other one was a twenty-two, anyway, so it okay. was still okay. Yeah, I mean, I forgot there too, you so go. you're fine. Um, <laughs> Thanks for uh, for being honest, though. Appreciate that. Uh, Milosu, you're up. So, me and Ambrose are like kind of close to each other, and then there's a ghoul attacking each of us. Yes. Close. So there's like four in the thing. Okay. Um, I am going to go with Ray of Sickness on them. Okay. Uh, Sorry. At first <clears throat> level, uh, for the one that hit me. Whoa! Drop it. So make a range spell attack. Um, <laughs> we're gonna spend a sorcery point to um do the empowered spell. Um. Oh wait, that's when I rolled. Sorry. You're we're using the seeking spell, meta magic. So it's two sorcery points. If you make an attack roll and miss, you could spend two. Because I rolled a 12 to hit. That does hit. Just hits. Oh, then never mind. I'm just going to spend those because I didn't miss. Always it. ask if it hits first before making decisions true. that you may not have to make. Just, uh, <laughs> true. Be dumb. Okay. So Ray of Sickness is 2d8. Yeah, 12, uh, 12 just uh, hits. So you and you. they have to make a constitution save. Uh, what's the status? Like, what's the damage type we're talking about here? Uh, poison? Uh, poison damage. Um, you cast a spell, but it doesn't seem to affect Aww. them at all. Yikes, I rolled so good on the damage, too. Sawi. <laughs> I, I thought so, but... I feel like, I feel like you're just getting shafted. <laughs> That's entire fucking session <laughs> well, I mean, session part so of far. it's my own fault, <laughs> because if I was metagaming properly, I would have been like, Things like poison is they're not going to work very well against undead. Mm -hmm. But I very much prepared spells based on like the backstory of this character. I mean that's fair, uh, and I, I, I respect uh, that. So, you know? Rico, that's why you know, I do as well. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Luckily, <laughs> my back. Luckily, my backstory was dude wants to be a dragon, so all my spells are fire. So I'm okay. <laughs> that's fucking cool. Yeah. There's basically like two themes to my spells, and neither work very well with undead i'm learning very rapidly <laughs> i'm I have sorry like a few things left <laughs> that we're gonna hope work out okay um so that's that turn because i'm not gonna you know what no we're gonna mm -hmm. bonus action let me check uh class features how it works because my only bonus action is i can convert sorcery points into spell slots so yes. if I want to create a first level spell slot okay i gain i had to use two of my sorcery points my bonus action is i'll do that i will expend two of my sorcery points to gain back a first level spell slot when i realized that that spell took no effect okay Shit. absolutely and that's my turn <laughs> all right this fifth ghoul uh, the... huh? um something i feel i should point out uh i don't know if it's relevant um but uh, my dagger is magical uh that's good to know it's good to know 
Yeah. Just uh, it has not made a difference so far, but that is definitely good okay. to know going forward. Yeah. Um, this fifth ghoul that got summoned out of, like, you don't know, you came from that, <laughs> that, that, that path, and there was no ghoul there, and suddenly... He's there now. Um, it's going to close the gap, and, um, I mean, the first thing it sees is this tiny little kobold. Oh. <laughs> oh uh, and it's just, it's going to try and uh, swipe at you. That's not going to hit. That's an eight. Nope. So, luckily enough, uh, you you see, like, from the corner of your eye, you can see this fifth ghoul kind of entering the fray, and you manage to, to brace yourself for any sort of attack, and you, uh... Yeah, it was probably hidden under all of those gross bodies in that one room that, that Laura threw up in. True, that's a good... That's Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> uh, you managed to duck out of the way. Ew. Um... Yeah, I mean, that's the term wasted. Um, the two ghouls... He tried to attack us immediately, but it took a while to get all the bodies off of it. Exactly, exactly. Oh. <laughs> um, the two ghouls that are uh, engaged with both um, Ambrose and... Um, Milosu. Uh, they're both is going to swipe at you with a four-claw attack each. Sure. Uh, that, is a, that is a nine to hit Ambrose. That misses. And a natural one to hit uh, Melosu. So y'all are good. Cool. Ambrose, it's your turn. I guess I just, you know, won't attack anyone. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> George the DM, you can, you, you, you can have no fun. I, I, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I will... Uh, I will... I hit multiple characters with this. Let me... No, only one. Just the one that, that attacked me. Because I saw that my other attack did a bit of damage against it, so I will mm -hmm. just you know, you, we like to, to to bounce the walking stick, so we're just gonna keep on keep on doing that. And this time, a, a nice little blue white light uh, streaks out again, and this will be Ray of Frost. Go for it. Yes. My character either does necrotic or frost damage. Uh, plus six. Uh, Go Ray. Math Keyword. is hard. 8 plus 6. 14. Rain. 14. 14. Uh, yeah. That does hit, yeah. Stupid as brain. <laughs> it's okay. That is 5 points. 5 points of damage? Yeah, 5 uh, points of uh, That'll do it, because this one, this is the one that oh. attacked you, right? Uh, you already heavily mind-fucked him with psychic damage the round before, so just this, this cold is enough to kind of stop him in his tracks, and he just kind of falls over and just collapses. Very good. Anything else you want to do with his turn? Um, I don't really have much bonus exercise I can do. Um, there was the one attacking me, right? So yeah. I will use a little bit of my movement just to put myself in front of... Um, he lost to again, just to be uh, some kind of overshield. I'm gonna go for the for the meat, the meat shield again. All right, sure. The meat shield again, you, human shield. Sure. Uh, grandpa comes to grandpa comes to the rescue. Literally a human shield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Sililos, it's your turn. How many ghouls uh, remain? Um, three. One engaged with now both uh, Melosu and Ambrose, and there's two surrounding uh, Taklak. Taklak. Oh, um, I'd love... Alright, I'll, 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 I'll attack one of the ghouls that are hitting Taklak. Um, okay. Uh, which one? Um, uh, there's one that you can see uh, has already been stabbed by, by Taklak's dagger, and there's one that seems to have just come out of that corridor that you guys also came from. The new one. The new one? Okay. Go for it, roll attack. Uh, so that's 24, that's uh, 21. That is disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I'll do... Okay, so that's doing 9 damage. Okay. And... This time, I'll use my arcane shot. Okay. So, Silos will 
from from one of her many sort of belts and straps, she'll pull out a like a strange sort of like plant. Like it, it seems kind kind of like a pod almost. Uh, and this is going to be bursting. No, sorry, no grasping arrow. Cool. Okay. Right? So uh, a creature hit by the arrow takes an extra two d six poison damage, which I'm not sure if I can roll on this. Uh, I mean, it's poison damage, so uh, that doesn't affect them. Yeah. Unfortunately. Okay. Fuck it. Uh, then <laughs> sorry. Its, its speed is reduced by ten foot, and it takes two d six slashing damage the first time on each turn it moves one foot or more. Okay. So like, yeah, it doesn't take damage from the immediate impact of the of the shot, but it does. It definitely, definitely does uh, suffer the other side I'll effects that aren't poison related. Absolutely. Post this in the group chat. Just so you can read it. Because uh, last for a minute until they use the option again. Un until any creature uses an action to remove them with an athletics check of a DC 8. Okay. Cool. Yeah. What do I see? Is that your turn? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one of the ghouls engaged with Taklak is... Uh, a persistent asshole and is going to try and take another nibble because I, I guess you know cobalt's on the menu and if cobalt's this is a, if this menu. is another less than five roll on my d20 i am simply giving up <laughs> hey we won <laughs> it's a natural three dude so like that no that's not gonna fucking hit <laughs> who donated <laughs> to give dutch advantage Man, this, this cobalt dude out. this cobalt is so nimble and just ducking and, and yeah, dodging like and just it's quick on his quick on his feet impossible to hit this guy somebody stop him no they're just they're just so used to going for humanoid <laughs> yeah, like <guess>. normal stuff. <laughs> they're literally just like biting at the air <laughs> above me they're just whiffing it fuck um like I'm no, I, I don't want to kill my players, but let me have a little bit of fun. Fuck. <laughs> um, that is that guy's turn done. Uh, Taklak, it is now your turn. Get him back. Fuck him up. Um, how far away is Soliloquy? Um, <laughs> uh, I think Silos went to like the 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 uh corner, right? Mm. Oh, so, far away. I'm, I'm, so I'm yeah, she's uh, she's okay. quite a ways away. Okay. Um, then no advantage for me. Um, but there are now two of them close. True. So my flame can bounce. So green True. flame blade. Bounce. Do some stab it. Oh great. Eight. Does not hit. Well, I, I had I had to get a low roll eventually. Yeah, you know, you know like it, it, it's <laughs> bound to happen at one point or another, right? <laughs> Well, uh, that, that's that's my turn. I'm sorry, um, Melosu. I mean, they can't hit you, but you can't hit them. Yeah. Just, <laughs> it all balances out. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're gonna try. Wait, I'm hold, stop the presses, spell. stop the presses. Wee woo, oh. wee woo. Hell, coming in with another fiver. There we go. Um, fun you will have. Advantage, Advantage on the next monster attack. Oh, thank you, Hal. Oh, Appreciate dear. that. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. So, Boys. gonna burn through my spell list because I'm like, I need to find something that hits these things. Uh, we're gonna try. Uh, let's try my fucking mind sliver spell. Mind sliver is cool uh, as fuck. Yeah. Uh, so they have to make an intelligence save because how smart can zombies be, right? I imagine not very. And I am absolutely right. Hell yeah. Uh, that's a natural one for minus one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, uh, the zombie that's attacking me and is currently has Ambrose shielding me. Uh huh. Oh, I rolled a one. No, you know I'm mad. I have one sorcery point left, and I'm pissed. I'm spending it because I haven't done anything to empower my spell to re-roll my damage dice. Fair enough. Fuck! Rolled a one again. <laughs> 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 You can't Wait, fucking make this shit up, dude. Point. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> like, clearly, but below Zeus is the most useless bitch. Okay, so that's one point of psychic damage. I mean, you're playtesting it, right, for this other thing, so like, now you know. <laughs> no, this is not the character I'm playtesting. Oh, I thought it was. Fuck. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
Okay, um, all right. Fuck. So one point of psychic damage, but their next saving throw, also they have to subtract a d4 before my next turn, the end of my all next turn. So this uh, this mind sliver just ends up being nothing but like an angry whisper in the back of this uh, this this ghoul's head, and, like, and, you, and you can see him kind of like for like a for like a, a few seconds, and then completely regains focus on you <laughs> or you two, I should say. Um, is that your turn? Sorry, Ambrose. Yeah, I pissed him off. <laughs> uh, all right. Um. The ghoul that uh, came into the room late, I mean, wants to go for Kobold. Sees Kobold, oh, he... needs to go for Kobold. Moving? Oh, fuck! No, yeah, he's... Um... Hold. Uh, what was it called again? Grasping Arrow. Right, it's right, in right, the right, chat. Right. Yeah, but I can't open that because of the camera, like, camera capture uh, uh, stuff. Uh, the brambles last for one minute, takes 2d6 slashing damage the first time it moves, one foot or more. Uh, let me have a look. Would you like me to go to the chat? I have it, I have it open here. I have it, I'm okay. just quickly having to read. Um, speed reduced, takes slashing damage. Um, I'm gonna roll and see if it decides to move or not. Because it doesn't have to. But it could, because it, that would mean it would flank. Uh, but I'm gonna roll and see if we're smart enough. Um, it is going to move. Uh, so it is going to take 2d6 uh, damage. So if you want to roll that damage for me, Fem. Tell the buttons. It takes five slashing damage. Five points of slashing damage. Yes. As it moves, uh, but it now does stand uh, in a flanking position with the other. Uh, ghoul. Uh, is gonna go for a, uh, claw attack this time, with advantage. That is a natural 19, plus 2, so 21 to hit. Well, okay, come on. <laughs> I was gonna, I was, I've been waiting this whole time to reaction shield. Mm -hmm. Even with the shield, it would still hit me. So, no mind. Mm, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Roll two ones on my two D on my two D four. So, uh, two plus two is four slashing damage. I'm alive. Uh, and I need you because you Oops. are neither elven nor undead. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. A 13. 13. You feel your muscles kind of tighten and you can feel kind of it becoming hard to move for a few seconds, but you manage to kind of bite through that, uh, regaining control of your of your limbs. All right. Back to the top of the initiative, the ghoul that is still fighting Ambrose and uh, Melosu. Um, is, I mean, Ambrose is forming a literal human shield. Mm -hmm. So he's going to try and just claw at Ambrose. Because he's fucking there. Um, 15 to hit. Yeah, that hits. That hits. Yep. What do I see? Oh my god. <laughs> Four points of damage. And a constitution saving throw, please. Constitution is uh, 16. 16, yeah. Uh, same thing. You you feel for a split second, it's very hard to move, but uh, you manage to kind of brush that effect off and uh, regain control of your body. Um, right. Ambrose, it's your turn. Well, that wasn't very nice, was it? And uh, oh, the, the walking stick goes to the ground again, and I'm casting Eldritch Blast this time. All right. Let's say, let's just say 14 to hit. That hits. Nice. D10. Hello? There. That's nine force damage. Okay. <clears throat> and I will just chill where I am at the moment. 
Sounds and good. We'll keep being uh, the shield. Okay. For time being. Uh, Sillilos. <laughs> Sillilos sneezes. Um. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Silos will continue uh, assaulting her previous target. Okay. Saying it that way makes it sound extra badass. <laughs> 15. 15 hits, yep. Yep, 11 damage. And with that, uh, you shoot, you fire an arrow, and it just goes straight into like the t into, into the side of the head, like into the temple. And with that, lights out. That ghoul also just falls to the ground. Beautiful. Uh, and that was the one that you also had um, brambled, so that is now no longer in effect as well, since the target yep. is dead. But um, yeah, three down, two to go. And. Yeah. Um, I'll move like about ten foot closer to uh, that clack. Okay. Anything else? That's about... no, How no. close does that make you to me? Quickly see on the map. Um, you were there, ten foot closer, uh, fifteen feet. Uh, blah, 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 still lows. The remaining ghoul at Teklak uh, is going to, I mean, you guessed it, try and finally take Chomp out of Teklak. <sighs> why, do I, why do I even fucking bother anymore, dude? I mean, <laughs> just fucking... I, I mean, oh, a nine no. isn't going to hit, is it? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. Uh, these ghouls are just useless. Hell, fuck it. Uh, that's it. Taklak, you're up. <laughs> Put him out of his misery because he just cannot, for the life of him or death of him, hit you. Uh, Taklak is gonna curl up in a ball on the floor okay. and go, No, no, please, 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 no, hurt me. Um, okay. Everyone now has advantage if they attack that ghoul until my next turn. Okay. Love <laughs> it. Interesting. All right. Um, yeah, that's my turn done. That's the best ability in this entire game. That is, yeah, that is, that is fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Melosu, you're up. Oh, um, well, it's the only thing that's worked. It didn't work very well, but like, fuck it. Um, we're gonna try and mind sliver it again, and this time, I'm like, okay, focus. I'm gonna try and like. <laughs> basically think really hard about the voice I'm used to hearing in my head and like try and like project it into their head basically so intelligence save and they have minus a d4 on the save because of hitting them with it last time because it's till the end of my next turn which is now well okay so let me hit you with the deeds right <laughs> that is a 12 minus 2 is 10 and then minus 1 for the d4 is 9 <laughs> even the 12 wouldn't have made it baby go Okay, uh, roll better this time. Different d6. Yes, that is four psychic damage this time. Four? Exactly how much you needed. Um, hey! This, uh, hey, there we go. The second time around, the voice in this ghoul's head louder, causing it to kind of clasp his own head uh, out of just not understanding where the sound's coming from. But also not being the brightest individual and not really having a sense of his own strength, just trying oh. to get the voice out of his head, just claws his own oh. head open. And just oh, no. until oh, it that just kind of dope. Oh, I love that. Um, and with that, Ooh. only one remains. The one that is now leaning over a cowering tackle. <laughs> Alright, that's my turn. Uh, Ambrose, that makes it your turn. How far is the... Uh... The last one away from me? Um, About 10 feet. Um, Yeah, fuck it. I will, you know, I, I'm used to being a shield right now, so I will just do the same. I will walk up and uh, position myself 
been between uh, the goo and uh, my little cobbled friend real quick. Okay. And... Uh, Uh, yeah, fuck it. Elvis Blast again, so walking stick on the ground again, eyes lit up, crackling energy comes out. That's a 13 plus 6, that's a 19 to hit. Remember your advantage. Oh, you have advantage, true, because uh, because there is a cowering kobold on the floor. <laughs> so, so instead, instead of a 19, that is a 25 to hit. So I guess. I mean, yeah. Oh, Absolutely. I guess, I guess that will hit. D10. This one. Good feeling about this one. Six. Four Six cents. points of damage? Yep. Alright. Very good. And... Fuck it, I will use um, as a bonus action, I will turn two. Uh, only two sorcery points into a um, into a spell slot. Sure. Just so I have it ready in case I need it. Okay. And that's my turn. Beautiful. Cillalos. Uh Oh, because of the advantage and the, this, it's, this is just normal. So I'll just fire up arrow at the last yeah, goal. Yeah, because of the advantage of the of, of what uh, attack like did negates your disadvantage, makes it a straight roll. Yeah. 27. That hits, yeah. Uh, Eight damage. Eight points of damage. You. This uh, this ghoul barely holding on. The, one of the arms dropped off because of the sheer force of the Elder's Blast. Another another like like this arrow just taking out the entire just left leg of this creature. Now just kind of hobbling, half crawling, but somehow still going. Oh my god! Is that your turn, Silos? Okay. Uh. E yeah. Okay. Uh, and this crawling ghoul just <sighs> is gonna try and just swipe at the cowering Taklak, which I assume does that mean Taklak is technically prone? Uh, the rule does that uh, uh, like that was sort of just um, oh okay like technically I'm just cowering pathetically yeah so you're not, actually, okay, you know, okay, I'm okay. not prone or anything it's just I was sure. thematically no I got you, know. you I got you okay we'll just make it a normal attack then um moth <sighs> attack like it's your turn oh <laughs> oh you fell for my trap <laughs> 19. Your trap card. 19 minutes. Oh. And I mean, you can roll damage if you want to, but he's on 1 HP, so. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. So, like, carrying on the floor and then just, aha! <laughs> just <laughs> with a dagger, and just with that, just, yeah, cut open, like, just because he's kind of hunched over and also half on the floor because of the leg being removed from him. He is close enough to you for you to just jam the dagger, like, through his. Through his like bottom bottom jaw just into his head and with that, as you pull the dagger out, this ghoul now also pff, slumps over. With that, combat ends. Uh shall we take a brief break here to I don't know, grab a drink, go to the bathroom if you need to quickly. I wouldn't mind please. the bathroom break. Quickly yeah. stretch yes, please. Your, quickly <laughs> stretch your legs and then uh, we'll get to the last uh, hour or so, if I had to hazard a guess, of the of the session. When we get back? You know what it's time for then. It's time for... Confetti. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Our fuzzy oh, yeah. friend. So we'll be back in like, I don't know, like, say, like five minutes or so to quickly uh, yeah, sure. do all that stuff. And then, uh, yeah, thank you so much for all the donations so far, guys. Uh, killing it. Hope you guys are enjoying uh, the one shots. Uh, quickly going to go through who all... I looked up all what else happened. Uh... thanks for the fiver. Hal, thanks for the fiver. And the 750. Duke, thanks for the 250. Peepor, thanks for the tenor. Hal, thanks for another 15. Killing it, Hal. Thank you so much, dude. And um, it seems that you guys are really enjoying. Yeah, really, like... killing me, Hal. <laughs> it seems like you guys are like enjoying <laughs> the uh, the like incentives for D and D games. So there's a couple more D and D games with the same incentives coming up throughout the month. So uh, I'm excited to see that. Like, uh, uh, people an automated chat thing on the bot to remind people you can do it. Yeah, I, I probably and should. I probably should. I'll, I'll set one up real quick, like during the break. Few, yeah, we're gonna one say of the other, dreams, but, you know. one of the other things that happens because we hit twelve hundred, Opti has to write a charity select theme song. 
which is going to be pretty dope <laughs> nice. for next year to have. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Uh, right. yeah, and I got to play Sekiro. Ha! <laughs> Great. Um, we'll be right back, guys.
Hello, hello. Hello. Oh. All right. We're backs. We're backsies. Okay. So, to immediately get back into it, as you defeated these ghouls, these ghouls are all dressed in in pretty like f fine looking clothing, definitely showcasing that uh, when alive, uh, mm. these individuals had money. Uh, they were buried in these like fancy looking ceremonial robes uh, with with like golden finishes on them. Um, they're definitely like the the best dressed undead creatures you've ever seen. Um, and the main the main like tomb in the middle's never opened. It's still because they came out of the corner coffin. Yeah, the tomb that you guys are at, um, nothing came out of no. I'm just gonna go ahead and push it open because now I think I don't think he's in here. I think the guy that should be in here is the one doing all this. Um, you push this open. Make a strength check. I mean, that's not gonna go very well. I'm gonna tell you right now. Oh, okay, sixteen. Sixteen. You push the like heavy stone or like marble lid off of the uh, tomb, and inside lay um. Two skeletons. Damn. Uh, their their hands seemingly locked in one another. Um, oh, that was kind of cute. <laughs> but uh, I, I just go, very very oh, dead damn. looking. <laughs> it's like, well, there goes that hunch. <laughs> Were they buried with some stuff, by any chance? Make a investigation check. While Ambrose is rooting around, I'm like, any, no one here would happen to have any any medicine of any kind by any chance that's a 16. i'm kind of like swaying on my feet <laughs> what did you roll sorry shatter si 16 16 uh you know uh both of these skeletons uh have a ring uh on their uh, uh like one on each uh like one skeleton each have both they're both wearing a ring a golden ring with a um like a small gem in, uh in it could be worth a couple pennies. I will try and yoink. Yeah. Uh, you yoink the rings. Um, you now possess two uh, golden wedding rings worth 20 gold each. Oh. And the skeletons still dead? Yeah, they're, they're not moving. Very okay. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> That's true, true, true. Um... Silalos will go over to uh, Milosu and pull out her spear and just offer it to her. Normally, a spear does the opposite of heal someone. I'm not quite sure where you're going with this. Protect self, no need heal later. Oh, uh, I, I'm just gonna, like, <laughs> no, and just like, oh, and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and while I'm walking away, I'll go ahead and cast False Life on myself again to give me some temporary hit points. Okay. Yes, for the four again. So a one hour, I have um, eight temporary hit points. Yeah, so just to remind you, there's a set of double doors on the northern side of this room and another door basically opposite the door that you came from. Uh, double well. doors look fanciest. I Could suggest I we try those. Maybe uh, if we rest here first, we can hide in coffin for safety. I mean, I know I'm a bit older, but I, I, I don't want to want to practice for when the day comes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a short rest, maybe, but I'm not getting in one of those things. I cannot use bow if in coffin. Good reason. You see, you see, as people start sort of agreeing with the idea of rest, and Taklak has already like just jumped into the main. <laughs> <laughs> jumped into one of the. In, in, did you jump in the like in the tomb with, with like two skeletons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dutch. 
Oh. I will, uh, as, we go, Fair enough. as we get ready to rest, I'm just going to say to the group, it would have been nice to have made this decision before I used some of my magic, but because my temper HP only lasts an hour, mm. and how long is a short rest? An hour. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys want, you can take this opportunity to short rest and use some hit dice to God heal up. It. God damn it. All right. I, I, I was on two health, Laura. <laughs> I needed this. I was on five. That's why I used the spell to give myself temp HP. <sighs> All right. What's my hit dice? Four. Good one, Shatter. Good one. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, I don't know why. Oh, as you fucking hit the fucking command, the bot also like the timer also procs. Nice, <laughs> dude. Sick, guys. Double charity. Oh. Um, yeah. So if you want to use some hit dice to heal yourselves, you can. You spend about an hour, um, all my hit dice. which means that uh, Stilos, you are no longer poisoned. The effect of the poison uh, has faded Aww. throughout your rest. Oh, let me eat another ghoul. Oh, you want to be poisoned again? <clears throat> you can try. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh actually, it's... <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, where the hell is the um, hit dice thing? Um, if you are on your sheet in Dean and Beyond, there is a short rest button, like on the top somewhere. Um... It's um, right along the, uh, right above oh. where it says walking speed, and then you can click it, and then we have three hit dice at this level, so you just click however many you roll, you tick that in the boxes. Yeah. And oh. then you roll. Neat. Thank you. So, uh... I used all three of my hit dice, and Same. Uh, I'm on 11. <laughs> Man, how poorly did you heal? Damn. Yeah. You rolled worse than me. I rolled a four, a four, and a two on my three d6 hit dice. Wait, actually, do you, when you heal with hit dice, do you get your constitution added? I believe so. I don't so. Think so. You roll oh, one. do you? Yeah, yeah. You I believe you, you roll a hit dice, and for each dice, uh, you also add your constitution oh, yeah, modifier. Oh, yeah, it's plus plus one, so I get yeah. an extra three hit points. Nice. So oh, your combo fire also gets added. Yeah, for each dice. Oh, then uh, no, I heal a lot more than that. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feature. Oh no, actually that only takes me up to four. There it is. Okay. As part of a short rest, I can create a shield club, javelin darts, or bl uh, blowgun needles from oh, the God, yeah. slain creatures. So I'm going to take one of the ghouls. Oh my God. Sure. Rip the flesh off of it. Bite, a, you know, have, have a bit oh, of a snack. No. Little, 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 chicken, and little chicken wing action. Just... And form a shield out of the bones of a ghoul. Cool. Sure. Fuck it. Is that is that like a lizard folk thing? Like what the fuck is that? Yeah, is yeah, it's a lizard folk. Thing. That's awesome. sick. What the fuck? <laughs> In the meantime, while we were short resting, we got a few more donations. Uh, uh yeah, just uh oh 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 shit the, oh shit the overlay just ooh, now just now updated. The um, two pound donation is from someone yeah. in um, uh, Pickle Dick with, with a one pounder. Uh, awesome. How with a fiver? Good short rest. Heal everyone for five hit points more each. So there you go. Oh, you guys hell. get an additional five points of healing. I'm at full health now. Yeah, go. full health perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thank you, Hal. Appreciate you, homie. Mm -hmm. What a gamer. Alrighty. There you go. So, with that, the hour passes. Silolo somehow managed to just create a shield from the remains of a dead ghoul. <laughs> by being cool. Which is metal as fuck. Um, what do you guys do? Going through the double doors if no one objects. Would anyone oh, like a shield, by the way? Just curious. I'm, I'm not gonna I'd say no. I love no a else. shield. Because oh I only use it, one hand if I don't give know. Give it to Taklak because it'll be as big as him. <laughs> you are given... <laughs> you are given a shield made out of the bones of a ghoul. There you go. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I'm assuming it just functions like a normal shield, so it just ups your AC by two, yep. right? Mm -hmm. yep. Man, oh my god, there you go. the fan art. <laughs> That's awesome. If, we, if anyone watching has any artistic talent, draw this little kobold holding a shield that's its entire body size. <laughs> Made of fucking <laughs> Made bones. of bones. <laughs> that is both uh... disgusting, but also amazing. Another five pound <laughs> donation. Hold on. Oh? 
Yeah, I think this one was also from uh, from Opti's stream. Is it? I mean, could be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. Probably is. But hey, another fiver to charity. Yeah. Pog, dude. Awesome. Good shit. There we go. <clears throat> On the way to 1300. We're, we're oh my creeping god. In. We're, we're only like... We're all, almost like 250 away from me having to play Dark Souls 3. <laughs> nice, dude. Do it, do it. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> so. Uh, you all recover. Taklak now, proud owner of a shield made of bone. And a hefty 18 arm class. And a hefty 18 AC. Whew. Um, so like nice. I said before, uh, a set of double doors above, like uh, up some steps, but also a door across from the door that you came in from. Uh, it seems you have your mind set on the double doors, if I uh, picked up on that. Yep. Okay. Um, boom, boom, boom. Hold on. As you get to the double doors, um, I would like for you all to make a perception check. Ooh. Where's my... Where is... 16. 16. 16? Six. <laughs> solid, solid six. Solid. Oh, three. Three? 22. 22. Um... So, Sidilos, you, as well as, uh, I'm just going to keep blanking on Laura's name for some fucking reason. Milosu. Mil there you go. You guys um, pick up on some sound coming from the other side of the door. Uh, the other two, not so much. Um, what you two hear is, um, let me quickly, here we go. You hear faint chanting through the sturdy wooden door ahead of you. You can see weak light, like, coming through the slits in between the doors and the floor. That's never a good sign. Um, we will definitely have company on the other side of this door. <laughs> yes, yes, Silalos hears this too. Do, do we understand the language of the chanting, or can can I understand it, or can we not make out the language? It's just kind of like uh, you can't really tell. It's just like you can hear okay. like a faint chanting. You're, you've no idea what language is in. You, you're not like you can't hear it that well. Okay. Um. I mean, there's no way we can open this while being quiet, can we? Do we need to go there now, or? Could we just have a little look in the other room real quick? Just to maybe something in there can help us. Who knows? <clears throat> sure. And Try the other that, door I will, then. I would I would just walk up to the, to the other door and open it because Okay. Doors no other door's been trapped, right? Doors are door, <laughs> doors are easy. Sure. Uh um... like, this door leads to a room that is partially collapsed. Uh, the better part of the floor covered with, with murky looking water. Um, what else is there? Uh, one corridor that leads uh, left, but eventually leads to a dead end. And another corridor that leads right towards another door. Well, I, I feel like bit... that... That loops back towards where we came from. And you see me just trying to work it out in my head. <laughs> Turns. Yeah, you could you could be right. Well, this is a bit of a disappointment, if I'm honest. <laughs> well, I mean, it looks like nothing here, and if it indeed loops around, it's there's no need going that way. So I guess we will have a, a little friendly meet up with the. The other side of the, the big door. And if no one and objects, I we, will uh, just walk back. <laughs> and as you start walking back to the big door, you see me kind of like do the look up and just be like, and like shake my head a bit and just mutter to myself, not now, not now. And then we keep going towards the double door. Okay. Do I hear that? Um... We'll say that you know from the from the months you've you've been traveling together, you've ah. you've caught you've caught her occasionally having some like 
conversation with herself. Um, it's never really bit you in the ass, so you never really bothered really asking about it. But no. yeah, you, you've seen her do this before. Fair enough. Okay. It's a yeah, semi-common occurrence. The more stress I'm oh. under, the more often it happens. Fair enough. Okay, then I have to just uh, ignore it and walk back. All right. So you make your way back to the double doors. Uh, what do you do? And are we? Is it the nope. same marching order? So is it uh, Ambrose and Taklak up front, right? And the other two yeah, in the back. Sure. Yep. Okay. Well, Give me one second. My cat's meowing to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so, no. do you just, what do you do? How do you approach this? Yeah, I mean, only one way to go, right? And I will just open the door because yeah. doors open very easily here. And I'll yeah, draw doors have been, out been locked or trapped here. So, that is the, yeah, that's yeah. true. Oh. Um, and I'll draw oh. out the dagger that is still lit up, that Taklac lit up for me. Just have okay. it right at the ready. Uh, as you open this door, most of the walls are covered with these, like, like, like built in tombs into the walls. Um, two larger marble tombs near near the northern wall, a similar design as the one in the previous room you were in. You were in. Um, several standing candelabras in wrought iron and wall-mounted oil lamps light up the room and the cracked, checkered stone tiles. In the middle of the room, a hexagram is drawn in a generous amount of blood. Six robed skeletons oh, stand at each of the hexagram's points. And in the middle of the hexagram stands a hooded creature with its back turned to you. An unnatural wind tugs at the undead creature's grey robes, and the air is filled with a strange chanting and flickering tendrils of eerie magic. As you approach, the hooded creature in the middle straightens out and turns around. And here you are, finally. I have crossed life and death, and I have come too far to let some... Adventurers, stop me. Step forward and taste your own mortality. And with those words, um, I would like you all to roll initiative again. Oh, how many, how, how many, how many skeletons were there? Six. Six. One at each Six. point of the hexagram. Six. And then there is a seventh yes. creature or, or being in the middle. Uh, there, yeah, we go. there you go. There we go. Small um, little brain. N for necromancer, yeah. and then S for all the skeletons. There we go. What do I see? Small, um, small little brain. <laughs> cool. Aww. I need I to. I will never not roll single. Do a lot of fucking okay. micromanagement here, so bear with me. Oh. Excuse me. Um. Ba 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 bomb. God, dude, fucking hiccups, man. Here we go. Uh, ba -bum, ba -bum. After um, the whole, I will not be stopped by adventurers talk. Uh, <laughs> still, Lois will whisper to Malusi. Sorry, let's... close enough. Close enough. Will... <laughs> <laughs> Malusi, I'm sorry. Where have I gotten that from? Um. <laughs> Oh, Dutch? Yes. Uh, we'll... You have uh, advantage on the uh, Necromancer roll. Because oh. we got another donation. Oh, no. Dude, is my overlay behind? Or does you? I guess you have the page open and you just get you just Yeah, the page open. I, 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 see, I see like something changed in the corner of my eye. Like, like, money. Yeah, it says advantage <laughs> on Necromancer initiative. Okay. Uh, my overlay is not updated yet. There it is. Hey, okay. Well, there it is. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you so much, Hal. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, so Lewis will whisper, I think he's talking about you. I'm just going to go uh, and whisper back and be like, I need to kill him. I need out of my deal. He holds the deal. And just like, I look a bit manic now. I'm just like getting real upset. He yes. holds the meal? Me, me kill. I like meal. Doki? Oh, Waltz. Boom. So a necromancer in six skeletons. Alrighty, let me just roll initiative for these baddies real quick. Advantage on the necromancer. All right, very nice. Um, okay. So we have. 
There we go. Now this fucking army of skeletons. Um... Do 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 do. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And lastly, you have many, many things to roll for. Yes. All right. Uh, initiatives of twenty plus. Lol. Nope. There we go. 22. 22? Also 22. Which one of you oh, has damn. more decks? 18. 17. Ooh. And Silos will go first. All by Black Black. Uh, 15 to 20? 18. 18. Rose. Uh, and Laura, what did you roll? Big ol' six. Big ol' shit. All right. Cool. Milosu will be down here. We'll be last. All right. Uh, with that, Silos, you're up first. What do you do? Uh, whichever the, is the closest skeleton on the right, I shall shoot it. Yeah, sure. 16. Hmm. Wait. Making a fucking note of, you know, I've numbered the skeletons. Quickly making a note of which one is what number might be helpful. Um, a 16? Yes. Uh, that does hit, yes. Okay, five damage. Five points of damage. Very good. And that shall be all. Very good. Yes. Um... Let's see. Quickly, there's a, a fucking big wad of text. So let me just quickly. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. See, that's oh, good. That's, that I, that's good, good that I read that before we got into the fight properly. Um... Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Beautiful. I do. Okay. Cool. This is uh, this boss fight just became a lot more like complex. Cool. Uh, now that I'm oh. aware. Right. So that was Silos. Her turn. Uh, attack like. So, mm. I'm gonna um, put my shield on my back. Okay. I'm gonna burn my last spell slot to craft me a new. Dragon stick. Hell yeah. Alright. I'm gonna need me a dragon stick for this fight. Uh how far away are they in this from me? Um let me quickly check. Um the first two skeletons uh are one, two, fifteen feet away. And okay. then, uh, uh, and then in the two, then there's two more skeletons. That are each uh, 25 feet away. And then the back two skeletons are 35 feet away. And the necromancer in the middle of this uh, hexagram is 20, 20 feet away. What is the theoretical most damage I could do with a 15 foot cone? <laughs> Ask him for a friend. You. The way they are positioned. If you position yourself, you can get three skeletons and the necromancer. I'll take it. Okay. Enjoy rolling all Enjoy of those. Enjoy rolling a million deck saves. <laughs> yeah. No fun with that. Uh, boom. Natural six. That's not going to fucking do much. Uh huh. Okay. Um, skeletons. Two rolled a 14 and a 16, which I'm assuming passes, but it could be wrong. Yep. Uh, and the yep. other one was a natural 6, so that one fails. The Necromancer rolled a natural 12 plus 3, so 15. 
Okay, so the one that failed mm -hmm. takes a nine. Nine damage. Okay. And then the others take half. Um, okay, so nine damage, half to four. We round down in this household. Um... The Necromancer, even though he, um, f uh, you know, you can see the fire kind of swirl around past him. It doesn't seem to actually hit him. Even though he is, it, in theory, he is well within the, like, space of the cone, the fire kind of mm. twists and just kind of swirls around him to avoid hitting him, basically. That's my turn. Got me a dragon stick. Breathe yeah. some fire. Absolutely. Good. Uh, Ambrose, you're up. Okay, so, again, go into the pouch, gonna grab some powdered silver and powdered iron, and I'm gonna go to Mi... Mi... Mi Losu? Uh, yeah. And I'm gonna, gonna make the same little, little bird figure on your forehead, and I'm gonna cast protection from evil and good. So that means that all uh, undead, fiends, face, elementals, celestials, and aberrations have disadvantage on attack rolls against you, oh, and you can no. be and you can be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. Very cool. So that should be that should help you out uh, a little bit. As a bonus action, okay. I am gonna, 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 gonna. <laughs> where is it? Hello. <laughs> I am going to use Hexblade Curse, and I'm going to put that on the Necromancer. The question is, are you? Um... Well, we will see. I mean, Hexblade's Curse, and quickly... I can choose one creature I can see within 30 feet to curse it for a minute. Is it a spell? doesn't say it's, it, it the only says it is, it is a bonus action and one oh, it's, per uh, it's um, can do it oh it's it's a class thing yeah okay. it um, doesn't say if it is a spell or something no that's fair that's fair uh then sure yeah okay that means that i get two bonus two damage rolls against him and i can now also crit when i roll 19 mm. attacking him all right, and I get five H and I get five HP back if he dies. Nice, <laughs> awesome. Okay, uh, and I'm just gonna, gonna stay where I am because I feel nice and safe from a distance. Understandable, <laughs> understandable. All right, uh, now one of the uh, furthest back skeletons whips out a short bow and is going to fire an arrow at you, Ambrose. Oh hell no. Uh, I'm gonna assume this hits. Um, 19 to hit. Yeah. <laughs> four. Uh, a total of, ah, only four points of piercing damage. Could have been worse. Uh. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Um, one of the skeletons that got roasted by the flames of this rod is going to. Uh, let's see. You tack like position himself so that he could hit. Dun, dun, dun. So you wouldn't be in melee with him. So he's going to also whip out a short bow and fire an arrow towards you, tack like. Uh, let's say 14 to hit. Yeah, so the arrow just goes, whoosh, flies over your head and falls to the ground. Uh, the Necromancer. Oh boy, is going to <sighs> see this is you know ghouls skeletons they're all very monotonous you know they do the same thing over and over again until they die <laughs> and then you get a spellcaster to control and then suddenly <sighs> um, this necromancer seeing the recognizing the magic. Ambrose um, used on 
one of his compatriots, is going to cast a first level magic missile. So three arcane missiles of several colors just dart towards you and just two of them impact you in the chest and one of them impacts you in the lower Ow. stomach. Uh, because well, magic uh, missiles is just a guaranteed hit. Lol, get dabbed on. It is. Get dabbed on. Um, you take a total of... Eight points of force damage. Oof. Okay. And that is his turn. Um, another one of the skeletons is going to take a short bow and fire an arrow at... Um, I'm gonna say Molosu. That is a 14 to hit. Just hits. Wait, they have disadvantage because they're on the. Oh, they do have disadvantage hold on, hold on. on me. And that makes it an 8 to hit. Nope. There you go. So that misses uh, Molosu. It is now your turn. Uh, I'm gonna use one of the things I've been saving because I now think this necromancer not very good reasons is the shadowy figure that has enslaved me to some deal and the source of my magic that i don't want <laughs> so i'm gonna use my a second level spell slot and try and cast crown of madness on him okay so he feels what it's like in my head he has to make a wisdom saving throw it, it says a humanoid of my choice must make a wisdom saving throw. Mm -hmm. It does not say undead or anything or immune to it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just quickly checking something. Yeah, because I'm figured there might be something up with whatever he is that might make him have like advantage or be immune but as far as i can tell he should still um, be if i can buy it you cast your spell ah uh, and nothing happens you God, can see a slight smirk appear on the like toothy grin under the uh like hood of the cloak as he definitely realizes you tried casting a spell at him and just kind of relishes uh, in, in the fact uh, that you failed that was that was my big boy spell. Uh, Jonimus um, hit us with a fiver. Next oh, spell no, Johnny, causes a wild magic surge. I'm here for it. Let's oh. fucking do it. <laughs> not my spell. No, so the next next uh -huh. spell. So whether that's from uh, party side or, or enemy side, doesn't matter. It says next spell. Wild magic is so sick, dude. Okay. Uh, uh, anything else you want to do? My whole... Nope. It's my whole fucking turn. I'm just mad. All right. Uh, three more skeletons. Start, like, and spitting again in anger. Um, yeah, three more skeletons are gonna each fire an arrow with their short bows. One towards, um, Teklak, one towards, um, Ambrose, and one towards Silalos. You. So the one going for Taklak is a pff, nine to hit. The one going towards Yo, Ambrose is a 19 to hit. And the one to go in towards Sidilos is a five to hit. So I'm assuming only Ambrose gets fucked. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm really uh -huh. not trying to target you, but you I know. feel it. I feel it. Is Soko here? Yeah, no, I may have hidden him off camera. So he's, he's nodding in approval of what I'm doing to you. Um, you take six points of piercing damage. There's another arrow just soars mm -hmm. towards you and kind of yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, with that, bad. those skeletons have had their turns, and it is now... Uh, Silos, you're up. Mm. How many of the skeletons actually moved? They have not moved, no. They're all still in their little hexagon around the necromancer. The oh, assholes, okay. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Yeah, fuck it. Uh, longbow? Alright, all right. this is gonna be at the Necromancer. Okay. Uh, does 16. You fire the arrow, and it's going straight for the Necromancer, and at the last second, just takes a 90 degree turn it's and just shoots off. World. And, like, impacts World. the wall. Something is stopping you from being able to get to this guy. 
You're not sure mm. what it is, but something is making it so that whatever spell what or weapon you be. use, it just is not working. Oh, fuck. Okay. If only there was some sort of giant symbol in the room <laughs> guiding us <laughs> in the right direction. Hey! I mean, uh, um, anything else you want to do with your turn, Silas? Kind of thing. Uh, not yet. I shall. Yeah, I'll, that, that'll be it. Okay. Tack Uh, so before I move, I'll do the uh, four, four man flame throw again. Go for it. Like the same angle? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I wanna be a Bernie boy. That's a million deck saves that I need to make, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm not going to roll from the Necromancer because it's not going to... It's just not going to affect him, regardless. Uh, the Skeletons... I mean, the highest was an 11. Okay. Uh, they all take full damage then, which is 11. And with that... These three Skeletons just crumble to pieces and just collapse into just a pile of bones. Which three? The three that are closest? Um, the two closest, and then the one directly to the necromancer's... to the necromancer's right, to your left. Okay. Okay. Keep it dry. Successful fire is successful. It seems... Small dragon strong. Small dragon strong, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't count as a spell, what you did, right? Because it's just nope. like you've already used the spell to make the thing. That was just fire. Yeah, it's, it's like I normally don't need a spell to make one yeah. either. I can do it as an action anyway. Yeah. But if I I can only do it once per long rest, unless I burn a spell slot to allow me to do it again. Uh, okay. okay, I see, I see. And now I've crafted it. I have it for an hour, and I can okay. just use it every bonus action. Artificers are fucking cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that your turn? No. Uh, oh. uh I want to run up and stab another one. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I'm gonna ask you a question. Yeah. <laughs> to run up to the remaining three skeletons, uh, we'll say the closest one to you would be like, uh, would be like back left, so like behind uh -huh. the necromancer on the left hand side. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm gonna ask you a question, and it's up to you how your character would do things. Would so. your character run through like symbol yes. drawn on the floor because that's he the would shortest take the route? Shortest route possible that would take him through or like make him enter the symbol yeah which means fun things happen um oh, as soon as you touch the symbol i would like for you to make a strength saving throw oh boy i'm not a strong a strength boy. save Ooh. after all i am you know kobold mm. a natural one as a part of the enter at your own risk trait that this um, symbol has, as you enter the symbol, this large half-transparent skeletal arm erupts from the floor and grabs you. Uh, since you failed the save, you take... Oh my god. 11 <laughs> points of necrotic damage. Um, you cannot take reactions or bonus actions until the end of your next turn. Um, let's see. Um, and you are held in place. Like you are, this skeletal arm has like has a has a hold of you because you feel the safe. You are being held in position. So, um. So you won't be able to make it to uh, your next victim. And uh, like I said, until the end of your next turn, uh, no reactions or bonus actions. Is that, uh, is that your turn? Okie dokie. Yeah, that'll do. Ambrose. Hmm. I still have some spell slots. Let's go for another, uh, what's it called? Chaotic Bolt. And so we're you're casting, you're casting a spell? Yeah. Oh, the wild magic table. Yeah. Wild magic table then. Hold on. I, I, I have it ready already if you uh, if you want me to roll or, or you want to roll. I'll roll. 
smile. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so I will go for Chaos Bolt, and witnessing that like it seems like we can't really hit the Necromancer, I'm not gonna focus him. I'm gonna focus on the um, skeleton to the right of him. Okay. Go on, Zach. That is a plus six. Jesus Christ, brain. Eighteen. To Eighteen hit. does hit. There we go. Okay, I need some. Uh, I want. I want. I want another bounce. Come on. That's four on the d6. Uh, those two. Come on. That's very nice. That's double sixes. Okay. Which means poison damage. Oh, that's poison damage. Yeah, six, six, oh. 16 poison damage. That's unfortunate. They don't give a um, fuck about poison damage. The spell does bounce, well, but it does not seem to affect the initial skeleton it hits at all. Uh, but it okay. does bounce over to, we'll say, the next skeleton that closest to him, so that would be the back right yeah, one. Yeah, no. You're getting so lucky with these chaos bolts. I've never seen it bounce, and here <laughs> you go with three bounces in this little one shot. Oh, oh, oh. That's a 15 to hit. Hit. Okay, let's go again. No, oh. it's fortunate. No, another bounce. No bounce. I will make it fire or psychic. I will go for psychic, so that yep. is 10, 14 psychic damage. 14? This yep. skeleton, just upon the impact of this chaos ball, just bursts into pieces. Also gone. Okay, so not. So that means uh, two skeletons okay. are left standing, but you cast a spell. Uh -huh. And because of a yes. charity donation, that means a wild magic surge, uh, which I rolled for, and is a total Five. of uh, 44 plus 7 is 51, which means a spectral shield appears and hovers near you for the next minutes, granting you a plus 2 bonus to your AC and immunity to magic missile. That's oh, dope! Man. Oh, that's Damn. great. There you go. So Johnny, my man. Jonathan is saving Johnny, the day. That's funny because you you got hit by a magic missile earlier in the yeah. fight. So that's there you go. Good that's shit. amazing. Good shit. I was uh, I was kind of waiting for ninety one or ninety two. Like, oh, I'm <laughs> Wait, dead. What does that do? I'm dead in a minute. I'm dead in a minute. Shit. <laughs> Could you die within the next minute? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. <laughs> So this one's a lot better. Yeah, there you go. All right. We need to cut off your foot because you're obviously lucky. Yeah, you're very lucky. We're gonna, we're gonna have to like sure. see, bottle that shit somehow or whatever. Just sell it. Um, <laughs> does that end your turn, Ambrose? Start selling old shaggy geek bath water. Ooh, that's a good one actually. No, I'll sell it for our charity. Yo, true. Charity donations of twenty pounds or more get you a free <laughs> bottle of shattered bath water. Of pristine. Pristine Gamer Boy bathwater, dude. Mm. You uh, is that, is uh, that your turn, uh, Ambrose? Uh, I can't do anything else. Not really. And I like where I'm standing, so yeah. Yeah, that's it. Right. Then, also, um, the skeletons that would have a turn now have since been destroyed, but the Necromancer still stands. And... Oh, next, uh, next spell, by the way... Uh... Oh. Also, magic search. Oh no! Oh, we got no. another, another donation. One? Another magic search. Another next spell. Next spell. All right. And another it. one. What oh, shit? Jesus Christ! All right. Fuck it. Um, give oh. me a second. Because as a bonus action, a necromancer is going to use an ability called Rise, my creation, Rise. Oh, I, I hate that. Oh, I and hate that. And one of the of fallen that. skeletons reanimates. And we'll say oh, that the, the back one, the one that just got destroyed by the Chaos Bolt, just puts its, puts itself back together and stands so there's up. How many left? There's, there's how many up right now? So now that means three. there's three up. Three, okay, that's what I thought. Um, that was his Damn. bonus action. As his action... I mean, he do be... He, he, he do be casting a spell. <laughs> hey, the wild magic. Oh, hopefully he gets going... a bad one. 
he doesn't see Taklak as a threat because Taklak is being fucking held held in position <laughs> by this like see through skeletal hand. I'm very menacing. I'm a two <laughs> set of pure rage. Um, so he are both Sillalos and uh, again, it's Laura's name where I keep fucking up. Melosu. <laughs> Are you guys like still like by the door, like the way, where you entered yeah, the room? Yeah, I haven't moved. I haven't, oh, yeah, haven't moved. moved. Side by side with. <laughs> He's just kind of gonna throw a fireball your way, I think. Oh that no! That will also hit me, right? Because I'm also still there. Yes, it would. So I need all oh, of you fuck. to make dexterity saving throws. Yeah, I mean, if it's oh, three you... of you, that's a no-brainer. He's gonna cast fireball. He has it. He's gonna oh, fucking cast it. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I... oh wait, I have advantage against spells. Thanks to my Yuanti heritage, advantage against like saving throws on spells and magical effects. So I yeah. advantage. Do, does he count as a? Oh no, wait, never mind. Does he count? He's not undead. No, never yeah. mind. Never mind. He is very not much alive. Great. Actually, wait, dead? no. He is undead. <laughs> I lie. I tell a lie. He is undead. So does that mean that? Uh, I mean. The undead have, as, yeah. have disadvantage on attack rolls and stuff, but it doesn't really do anything for spells that involve saving yeah. throws, right? Nix has on no, attack true. roll. Yeah, yeah true. so attack, it doesn't really do anything. Good. But he, he is undead, technically. Um, good to I don't think I'm making the save, fam. I rolled a 12. 12? I rolled very, I rolled very high. With advantage. Oops. 10. 10? I have a uh, natural 19 for a 21. Okay. You make the save, so we only take half damage, Ambrose. The other two the old man do dives not the old make man. the save <laughs> as this fireball just shoots out of the palm of this necromancer's hand and just, as it travels towards you, grows oh, and no. grows in size until it impacts right onto the floor oh, between no. all of you and just this explosion of Roll fire. Low, Dutch. Roll um, low on your damage. That's a lot of damage, y'all. No, it's not. <clears throat> no? Nope. Roll all ones, please. All ones. Sure. <laughs> Everyone else dies. Tekla just becomes this guy's apprentice. Oh boy. Watch the damage. Oh. A lot. Please be low. <clears throat> Please. Yo. I could like outright die. I okay. have a little trick of this um, 19 points of fire damage to Silos and um, Fuck. Melosu. That's my exact health! 19 hit points! Fuck! I'm unconscious. And 9 to Ambrose. <gasps> okay. So. Um, but before we do anything else. The wild magic. Wild magic surge. Okay. So hold, your, hold, hold that thought, Shatter. Hold that thought. Be a 91. 91, 92, so he dies. That's easy boss fight. <laughs> uh, 46. He casts Levitate on himself. Sure. Oh, oh you. Fuck it. <laughs> Why not? So he starts to levitate in the middle of the this, like... Uh, this, it would this... so funny if he did fireball centers. He just double casts fireball. <laughs> like, fireball, fireball, oh, good. <laughs> It's just like, yeah, this fireball shoots out of the palm of his hand, and he, like, lowers his hand, like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Shatter, it's continue. It's smug flirting. Yeah, okay. Um, you see your, your ally go down. Well, n not, just my, my, just, not just my ally. I also hit a zero. Oh, you both but of I have But I have Strength of the Grave. Okay. So as long as it isn't Radiant Damage... It's not. It isn't, and it's also not a crit... I can make a Charisma saving throw. Okay. Uh, DC 5 plus the damage taken. On success, I get I drop to 1 HP. So... Oh. It's a 14 DC. So I need to roll a 14 or I'm uh, going to take I a mean, nice hey, little nap. Charity donations? This is the time, guys. Just saying. This Yo, is the uh, time. Save us. Save us with your money. <laughs> it's not my time. <laughs> it is not my time. 16. 16. Woo! So you remain I'm at one, one hit point. Fighting off, literally fighting off death itself. Um, this, unfortunately, Ambrose. Melosu not so lucky. <laughs> no. As the as the kind of like the flash of the fireball fades, and just reveals your Yuan T friend collapse on the floor. <laughs> I ain't got time for dying. Oh fuck. <laughs> um, 
and that is the Necromancer's turn. I know what that skeleton happen. is no longer standing, so he doesn't get a turn. Hold. Melosu, I would like for you to make a death saving throw. Hold. We need we need the ominous mood lighting. What okay. We do. <laughs> um, death save. Um, yes. Um, nope, that's a four. Oh. That's one failed save. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> okay. Um. One of the skeletons is going to shoot an arrow at Silos. Then miss horrendously, because a six is not going to fucking hit, is it? Let's let's be fucking real. Um, <laughs> yes, that other skeleton also has a turn, because that one is still standing. Um, it's going to take a shot at Ambrose. I, I'm sorry, buddy, oh, but he's just, he's gonna. Just, no, just, you just, do have an extra two AC though, because it's shield. That's nice. So that makes your yeah. what makes that your AC. Uh, a lot more than 11, right? So, you're good. Well, f 15, so not, not that much higher, but... Yeah, I mean, shit. But more. Um, so he also misses, which takes it back to the top of the initiative with Silalos. You're up. Okay, so how many skeletons are alive? Um, right now, three. Okay. Uh, have any... Do I know if any of them have been hit? Um, two of them have not been harmed yet. The one, one of them did reanimate itself, but has, since he has been reanimated, has not taken any damage yet, as far as you can tell. Uh, I'll target the wall. Oh, is there any skeletons or any creatures that are within 10 feet of each other of, like, of a target? Um, good question. Yeah, yes. The back two skeletons are exactly within 10 feet of each other. Beautiful. Right, okay. So, this is going to be a fun uh, thing. Uh, right, so, uh, I'm going to aim for one of those back two skeletons okay. because I'm going to be using... Uh, I'll write this in... I'll, I'll write this in... Can I write this in the Twitch chat? Just oh, just so tell you can me see the name quicker. of the ability. I can just look it up real quick. It's fine. Oh, Bursting Arrow. Bursting Arrow. Bursting Arrow. Okay. Immediately after an arrow hits a creature, the target and all of the creatures within 10 foot of it take 2d6 uh, force damage. That's ideally what I want to get off. So. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> I got a natural 20. Yeah. Hey. There you go. There it is, dude. There it is. All right. Hit me with okay. it. Okay. So damage wise, that's 15 total on the crit alongside... So, so yeah, 15 damage onto that individual. Mm -hmm. and the 2d6 necrotic but... also doubles, by the way. Because they're also dice rolls. Oh, it's 2d6 uh, force. Force? Oh, necrotic. Yeah, oh, you're yeah, thinking I of... At, I was looking at the feeling, sorry. The 2d6 force yeah. uh, also doubles, because those are also dice rolls. So that right, also so... Um, doubles with the crits. Really? Uh, for a critical hit, any damage that, that you roll as a result of that critical hit, of that attack roll, doubles. Oh, so that so, includes that includes those two d six. So er, uh, the other skeleton as well is taking that six and that seven. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, fifteen damage to the individual and then thirteen damage to both of them. Yeah, and both back these back two skeletons both just crumble. They both Wonderful. crumble. So that remain uh, that makes one skeleton still standing along with the necromancer. Action surge. Okay. <laughs> Gonna start aiming for the other skeleton. Uh, that's a 17 to hit, doing hit. nine damage. Okay. And I still have my bonus action, so I'm going to use my second wind to regain one d10 plus three. So d10. All right. Pretty cool, because I I don't really see um. Like the the fighter archetypes that that revolve around bows and stuff played a whole bunch. This is a very nice, refreshing take. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I've gained six hex. Six. No wait. No. 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 It's six plus three. I'm an idiot. Aha. Woo! I got more health. Right. Cool. That's me done. Okay. I've always really loved the idea of the like sort of arcane archer, you know, like a fighter shooting magical arrows and stuff. Mm -hmm. But sadly, like a lot of the implementations of it are just kind of not amazing like they seem to really struggle to you know make it actually 
good and fun. I don't know why. They just seem to make a lot of bad versions of it. But they've had to put out two different versions of it in the Unearthed Arcana because the first one was... I like it as it is. It, it works beautifully. Anyways. And the same with like Ranger, right? Like Ranger has struggled yeah. a bunch. Yeah, revised. And like yeah, right now, the Tasha's Cauldron Ranger makes Ranger, especially Beastmaster Ranger, a lot more fun to play. Because mm -hmm. it kind of takes the more druid approach when it comes to their magic and stuff, as opposed to uh, like the learning by by just teaching or whatever. Makes it very cool. Um, okay. That is Silos done. Tack -lack. Uh, So, can I do anything about the whole been held by a giant hand? Um, yes. Person? At the start of your turn, <laughs> the hand will like let go of you. But keep in mind that your reaction and bonus action won't come back until you end your turn. So you only have an action and movement. As of now. In that case then, I will continue with my plan of running to the nearest skeleton. Yeah, there's one left. So. Can't blame for him, but I can certainly stab him. Go for it. 16. That hits. 8 damage. And with that, the last skeleton goes down, and you Eight. hear this like, No. Uh, as as the necromancer in the middle kind of looks around, realizing his six minions have been destroyed, and just as lev as he levitates because he does that because of the the wild magic search, he's levitating <laughs> because fuck it, why not? He's like hovering two feet above the ground because fuck it, why not? Um, <laughs> as he's starting to look a little a little a little, a little worried, a wee bit. Uh, I'm assuming that you turn tack lack because there's literally fuck all else you can do <laughs> because of the no bonus um, action thing. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Alrighty, Ambrose. Um, I think survival instinct is kicking in. Okay. So I will use because I'm shadow touched. I can use the uh, invisibility spell without it costing a spell slot or whatever. So Ooh. I will just uh, poof myself invisible okay. and uh, walk 10 feet away from the door, just so when the next fireball might hit, I might be a bit safer. Okay, so you're not heading out the room, you're just walking 10 feet into the room? Just to make yeah, sure. So I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm staying in. You're not like abandoning your friends, <laughs> just fucking dipping out. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm dying, so, like, fucking... Come to all for this shit! Honor. See ya! No, I'm <laughs> invisible, but I'm uh, I'm staying in the room. So I'm just I'm gonna... I'm running, running, going, I'm too old for this shit! So Alrighty. I'm running out of the room. <laughs> um, with that... But I, uh... Just want to, want to make sure that I'm, I'm still around, but away from... the rest of the party, just so... when he decides to throw no more fireballs my way... <laughs> Sounds good. That Sounds way, good. I might be safe. Okay. Um, the Necromancer, on his turn, um, is going to raise one skeleton once more. So one of them gets back up, reanimates, and as an action, is going to cast Mage Armor on himself. Because he's seen you guys take down the skeletons, more than one skeleton in uh, a short time span, so he's not quite sure if one is going to keep him away, keep you guys away from him. He's going to cast Mage Armor on himself, buffing his AC a little bit. Okay, uh, that is his turn. The skeleton that he's raising is the one that you have in your melee uh, attack luck. Okay. So... That would be... yes... Laura. Oh boy. I need another death saving throw. We need a nat 20. Here we go. This is it. Haven't rolled one all session. No, but it's a 16. Okay, so that's a pass. That's a pass. You know, you one for one. One and one. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, you know. Uh, the skeleton that just got reanimated is going to... attempt to swipe at uh, Tech Lag. Uh, 11, uh, 12 to hit. 
but to no avail. And uh, man, with that, we're, we're back at Silos. You got this. Uh. So this, uh, to, just to refresh, there's one more. One skeleton got raised again, and the necromancer himself is obviously still there. Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll kill, uh, I'll attempt to kill the skeleton. Okay. 13. Hits. Doing 8 damage. 8 points of damage. Okay. I need to quickly have a double check. Um. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. So, like, it just raises it with full HP. So. Jesus. Uh, you definitely, like, your arrow, like, knocks... Oh, Jonimus, hold on. This just in. Reporter from the field. Hold. <laughs> Reporter from the Reporter from the field. <laughs> reporting live. As we go to the halftime, um, Laura gets advantage ah! on the next death save. Oh, nice. Nice. There you go. Um, so yeah, that skeleton looking rough, but not quite dead yet. Anything else, Silos? Okay, so I'm by the door. Where is this skeleton? Um, like to the back left. With like the back left side of the uh, I'm hexagram. Going to go on the, I'm going to go on to the right side then. Okay, yeah, sure. Just like midway through the room, uh, keeping on to the right side. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Back lag. So, skeleton's still standing. Aye. Arr. Um, then I will stab him with my little pointy stabber. Go for it. Let's... What was that? Eleven. Eleven? Just hits. Alright. Imagine Ooh. I roll two now ones on the That would be roll. so fucking just, funny. Just to be the cosmic thwart to Johnny's good deed attempt. <laughs> that would be that. fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Six points of Six points of damage. damage. We'll do it. So the skeleton once again just nice. breaks apart. And again you just hear this like more more annoyed this time. Stop killing my minions. So like um Taklak will be like, like, he'll like stab the skeleton and then go to like point the fire stick at it and then be like. And like point it at the necromancer instead. Okay. <laughs> yes. Wait, the, the thing's still on the floor. He's probably still like immune to shit. You don't know. About yeah, no tech. There's nothing else for me to shoot at unless you want me to shoot at you. So. No, I'm saying. I'm just saying we need to figure out how to fucking hit him. Um, It's a deck save, right? Yep. Oh, it's hitting him. Uh, bu -bu 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 17. Uh, he saves, which means he takes half damage, which is 6. And for the first time this fight, hey. it seems that something ah. you throw at him actually affects him. <laughs> he kind of like covers his face as his wave of flames just kind of like washes over him. You can see like and what a first hit, six damage. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> as he it's kind of big. like brushes down his his like robes to make him stop catching on fire, as the edges kind of start start to cinder, uh, and he just throws the meanest glare at you, Zach. Like, so you know in D and D, a lot of fire spells say like will ignite flammable things. Mm -hmm. Do any DMs actually like use that rule? I actually did. Every uh, clothing, I actually did every that bit of clothing anyone's wearing should just be setting on fire. Oh all the yeah, time. I typically don't. Laura's do it for robe clothing. should have been on fire from the fire bot, You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't typically don't do it really for clothing. Fire, like, but there was a thing in the Halloween one shot where like somebody used uh, a, a fire spell. And they That's were like on the stage, and the curtains were, were like yeah, closed, we set so the like the curtains set on fire. fire and shit. Then. That's what I mean. Yeah. I've seen it. I've seen it used for stuff like that before, but like the way it's written, like mm. everyone's clothing should just constantly yeah, set yeah, on you're fire. Not wrong. You're not wrong. And I've never seen anyone actually, <laughs> you know, rule it that way because it'd be insane. Like yeah, having um, to buy new clothes after every fight because you're just constantly setting on fire. <laughs> Ambrose, in Invisiman. Mm. 
Okay. I would like to walk to the back of the room. At least as far back as I can get. Mm -hmm. um, just so I have a feeling that he doesn't expect me to be there. Sure. And if things, things go to shit, things go to shit. And I will just do a, a little Eldritch Blast against him. Go for it. Because I now, I now saw someone doing damage. I'm guessing it is time. Mm-hmm. Uh, 19 plus 6. 25 to hit. 25 hits. Absolutely. <clears throat> Let's say the 10. Wait. I credit a 19 now because of my Hexblade. So that's a, that is a crit. True. Ooh. That's, okay. True. Now, big big numbers. I want big numbers here. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. No big numbers. That's eight, that, 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 that's eight damage. I mean, it's, it's, hey man, it's, it's damage. Uh, right? um, uh, As you see your your cobalt friend firing this, this, this like, wave of fire at him, uh, and him actually physically reacting to it and it's physically touching him you don't doubt um i'm pretty sure that drops your invisibility right if you make an attack i think so let me do right, if i'm wrong yeah. quick normally yes yeah yeah, yeah. so your invisibility Fine. drops you're in the completely other side of the room and you shoot this elder's blast coming right out right out the like the raven on your on your cane uh, and just poof, impacts him directly in the chest he just kind of <gasps> gets the wind knocked out of him and then he, it's starting to look around at like the remains of his of his of his of his skelly bros. Um, is that your turn? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Okay. Uh, in that case, he raises another skeleton from from death and reanimates it. Um, we'll say that he takes number three, which is from if your if your back is against like the door that you came in from. Like middle left mm -hmm. skeleton, um, okay. and he's going to use his action to Let's see what spell slots do we have left, guys? Mm -hmm. Oh, hold! A loose stone falls on the boss for one d six damage. And I rolled a six on the damage die. All right, Hal, Ooh, I see you. I see nice. you. Nice. Okay. I see you, oh, Hal. We're getting some help. We're getting some help. Damn, Hal. We'll say I that the, uh, just, the, the, just the echo of like the, the, the thud that the Eldritch Blast hitting this man in the chest created just knocks down a tile on the ceiling and he just, just bops him straight on the head <laughs> as it comes down. Okay. The nice. fireball made some things unstable. <laughs> exactly, here. exactly. All right. Um, yeah, bonus action. He raised a skeleton. As an action, he is going to... I had a scary thought, but I'll wait till you're done to say it. He's going to cast Firebolt at you. Uh, Ambrose. No, Fireball. Ooh. Firebolt. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, Ambrose is, is not home. Uh, <laughs> which is a 17 to hit. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take a, a, a nap. Goodbye. Shall we? <laughs> Old man time. Oh. <laughs> you take one point of fire damage. Uh, I'm down. <laughs> because I had one. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, no. And with yeah, that, that I... also goes down and drops. TPK incoming. A, a single spark hits you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, because, um, I mean, I, I got... I, I should have to go down with the uh, with the other one. That I had my little thing to get oh, me back OST. up to one. Oh, Johnny said, remember your plus two to your AC. Yeah, from the I, one have a, I, I have okay. a 13, plus two is 15, which oh, is okay, okay. still yeah. not enough. The skeleton oh. is going to try and fire a sh fire another arrow at um, Silelos. Whew, boy. Time for the lizard uh, and the little 13 to hit Silelos. Oh. Does not hit, so that arrow no. just, just barely, like, 
soars over your head, almost like clipping, clipping. Uh, I do. Do you have hair? I don't even fucking know. Uh, it's not hair, but it basically, it, 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 again, it's like just ridges, just purple. Yeah, it's like almost like clipping yeah. one of those, uh, but barely missing. And it's like into the into the wall behind you. Um, still low, so it is your turn. I shall return oh, his wait, arrow to. No, I lied. No. Is it me? I need Laura Sorry. to make a death save first. Yeah, with advantage. With advantage? Two not uh, ones incoming. All two no! 20s. No! 13 and a 19. So success. It's a pass. There you go. <gasps> so now it's uh, Silo's turn. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll return the, an arrow to the skeleton. Okay. You fucking. That one. That one? That one. Uh -oh. uh, so unfortunately, the arrow just flies past, hits a wall, shatters. Right, out of anger, what? Sillalos will rush towards the skeleton. Well. If I'm within range. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I shall uh, make my hungry jaws attack. So I'm going to bite it and gain health. Okay. If I hit it. I've heard Bomo is good for you. Hmm. Yeah, 16. Hits. Doing. Ooh, 5 damage. Okay. I'm getting 2 temp HP. Woo. Nice. Alrighty. Sorry, turn. Solos is not is not happy because this one doesn't have any flesh. No, it's just like you're chewing on bone. A little bit of cartilage here and there. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, bone suck, marrow. suck the marrow maybe. out of one of them, maybe. Um, but yeah. All right. That makes it uh, attack like. Save the day. I don't know how I'm supposed to save the day. <laughs> uh, I've got no spells. My guy is. Not a medicine boy. Do you like a spear? <laughs> um, no, because I'd end up in the same situation you were in. So I'm a dex face as well. <laughs> and so. and he's two feet, two feet something. Yeah, can you imagine <laughs> this like super small for you <laughs> like a spear yeah, a giant himself. spear just trying to like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Idiot. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll like... let you guys know that as as the stone tile hit him on the head, um, caused the necromancer to look bloodied. Okay. That's fine. I've got this. Now. I've got the damage to this. I'm gonna run up and stab the skeleton. Go for it. Roll an attack. This time, very like making sure I don't run into the. <laughs> <laughs> My guy's done, but he learns. He's learned. Know? He's learned from his mistake. Very good. 24. That hits, ahead. definitely. And 5 damage. 5 points? That's exactly enough. The skeleton, that's once again, just... You know, uh, you know in Skyrim, you, you fight skeletons, There's and the skeleton just fucking pop right. when you kill him sometimes? That's that's literally what happens. That's literally what happens every time. And then, um, and then you know, you know, you, you know what's coming. Dragon stick? Necromancer boy is getting dragon stick. Oh, great. Oh, oh, that's good. Uh, huh, natural one. Six damage. Woo! Every bit of damage <laughs> counts. And once again, Slowly it seems that the damage is, like, the, the, the wave of flames is hitting him. Um, seems you figured out his secret. I like how it did the same damage when he saved it and when he didn't save it. <laughs> At least I'm consistent, yeah. you know? <laughs> there, is that, there is that. Um, is that your turn? Uh, yep. Ambrose, I would like for you to make a death save. I believe. Twelve. Okay. You pass Woo! your first death save. Uh, the necromancer. Dude, if he hits either of us, though, it's an instant two fails. <laughs> it's going to raise another skeleton. There's a what bonus a action. Dick. What? And cast Firebolt at Taklak. That's fine. That's 10 plus 4, 14? Nope. There you go. So the See, Firebolt. The <laughs> Why is Taglak the hardest thing it's to It's very hit tiny. Like, you know, tiny, 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 tiny boy. Tiny, <laughs> tiny fast boy. 
Um, it is two instant fails on a on a on a crits. Yeah. yeah. But then again, melee attacks are guaranteed crits on unconscious. Yeah, it's a guaranteed crit if they're unconscious. So like it's, you know, every attack is a crit realistically if it's melee. Um. Okay, so the firebolt misses. He raised another skeleton. We'll say that he raised the one to his back, to his back left. Um. So not in anyone's melee. Actually. Yeah, no, I just, I just blurted out a number, but he raised the exact skeleton. <laughs> the fucking Sinaloes was like, numbing on, like the bone. <laughs> he's kind of like, gets joint out of, gets joint yeah, out of yeah, your mouth like... and just attaches to like the arm again or whatever as the skeleton just like rebuilds like, itself right that. in front of you. I, I, I love the idea of like, um, she's eating it. And then the fingers just start like waggle. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, okay. Fire Fuck. misses. Raise a skeleton. That's all they can do in this turn. Um, that would be skelly number six. Who does not get a turn? Laura, it's that time again. Nineteen. I stabilize. You are stable. Are still hey. unconscious, but you are no longer bleeding out. Unless someone goes to <clears throat> fucking outright bop me and kill me. But unless anyone touches me, I'm chilling here unconscious. Okay, good. Um, yeah, and that takes us back to, to the top of the initiative order uh, with uh, Silalos. I'm, I'm going to regret this. I'm going to take a shot at the Necromancer. Wait, no, shit, there's a fucking boiler right in front of me. There is. I'll take a shot at the Necromancer. Okay. 13. The arrow just again goes straight for the Necromancer and just... Yeah. Ah. Okay. Right. Hmm. I don't think I can do anything else. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that, that that's that's my turn. Okay. Tack lack. Okay. Okay, I have a plan. Okay. How far away is Necromancer from me? From you? Uh, let me quickly uh, open up the map that I have. About 10 feet. Okay. Scales. Uh, uh, I hope you have... Uh, something, something good. Um, ready. Hey, uh, big, scary dude. Uh, if, uh, if, if you kill all my friends, can I, uh, please become your uh, apprentice? Uh, uh, you know, I am sc scared little co kobold. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hour from the necromancer. Okay. Um, so until the end of my oh next my turn, God. me and the lizard have advantage on attacks it also technically affects the skeleton as well okay but you know yeah mainly so just advantage on, on attacks uh, until the end of yeah. your next turn okay cool and then bonus attack shall flame throw the skeleton go for it actually, that's, what cat, that's what cowering people do the, the flame yeah throw. absolutely I mean, I mean I guess you yeah. could say you know you flame throw first and then you're like ah! yeah yeah <laughs> um, yeah he feels safe that's like a five uh, cool let me find my kill it kill it kill it kill it I know, I really need to... Uh, yeah. Five? Five points of damage? Yeah. Not dead. Oh, it could have gone better. Mm. Right, we've worked out at this point how this works, mm -hmm. and I'm very upset that we didn't kill the skeleton in time, because we know. don't... <laughs> Yeah, you're running out of people. Uh, you're running out of people. That's just really what's going on. You're running out of, you're running out of uh, hitters. Uh, if I had killed the skeleton, then you could have, like, just, you know, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, is that your turn, Tackle? Uh, why can't you bonk him? Just the skeletons there? Just don't hit the skeleton? Yeah. Like it, it seems that uh, yeah. he's invulnerable as long as skeletons are around him. Oh, okay. That's the, the, be... the only times he's been taken damage has been when there's no skeletons around. I see. Uh, okay. So that is your turn, Taklak. Ambrose. Save, that's save, please. Please, please, please. 
What? You're muted. You're muted? Critical failure, natural one. Ooh. Oh, so that's two, two fails. That's two fails. Yeah. That's the opposite. So you're, you're oh. on two fails and one pass right now, right? Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, boy. It's not fun being old. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and the necromancer is just going to raise another skeleton, isn't he? I think he is. Guys, just join the dark side. It's 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 come. I mean, there isn't much left. I mean, I already yeah. asked him if I can. I go. know. <laughs> he, oh, actually, roll a per, per, persuasion or deception check. I don't really like. Don't tell us which, which one. You know, I don't know. I don't need to know if you're being genuine. Just just roll that for me. I just want to see if he believes you when you're cowering and saying all that stuff. Oh, great. Here's where my negative one charisma comes in. Oh, that good. Fifteen. He looks at you. Perhaps we can talk. <laughs> and then focuses attention on um, the the lizard folk immediately. Raises another skeleton. And okay. is going to firebolt Silos. Oh, fucking five. I do love the idea of a little kobold minion, though, working with this necromancer. It's like, you're like his <laughs> Igor to his Frankenstein. Wait, if um, that's how this ends up ending, is me coming to the sky. It's so I mean, I'm, hey, I'm okay with it. You know? I'm okay with it. Um, I mean, there is forces at hand that I, even I have to bow down to that could change the tide. I'm just, you know, just throwing <laughs> it out there. Please, chat. Hashtag charity. Dab. Uh, exclamation point charity, like rather. Um, so there's now two skeletons. The firebolt misses. That is the necromancer's turn. Um, uh, I mean, I'm stable, so yeah, I yeah, no you're turn. stable, so I'm you're just you're just you're just having a vibe on the floor. I'm just chilling. Yeah. Mm. Which takes it back to Sidilos. I, I, I don't think we can do this. So what do you do? Do you run? Do you flee? Do you join him in supplicating yourself? What do you do? <laughs> just bend over and pre present your butt? <laughs> just be like... What would a lizard butt look like? <laughs> See, if I was roleplaying Silos to the way that I would... Uh, but and this is too much fun, so Silos will go down <laughs> fighting. Uh, yeah. He's going to ready an arrow uh, into the skeleton that's right next to her. Okay. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> Are you like wait? So you're firing an arrow into the skeleton, like in your melee? Uh, yeah. Does that does that give it? I'm pretty sure that's disadvantage, right? Am I crazy? Didn't I just get advantage because of Karen Beg? True. So, so that makes it a normal. I'd like role. to tell you what I got, by the way. I got a twenty. Uh, Nat twenty. Fuck it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that makes it a normal roll because of the cower. True. True. Yep, that's that's 13 damage. And that skeleton next has to advantages. Um, yeah, that skeleton just poof, pops once more. So there's one skeleton up and the uh, necromancer. See, I can't I can't do anything else. Uh sure. That's that's my turn. I just okay. gotta, yeah. Yeah. Zack Lack. Uh, annoyingly, mm -hmm. the the new skeleton that spawned wasn't alive when I cowered, Correct. so I don't get advantage on that. Correct. So the advantage is totally nothing came of it except negating the disadvantage. Yeah, like I mean, you know, I got one skeleton killed, I guess. Incredible. Yeah, <laughs> it's something. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna stab a skeleton, I guess. Go for it. Well, he might not think you want to work with him if you kill his friends. He's told him to stop <laughs> killing his friends. Um, I got 22. That hits. And 8 damage. 8 points of damage? Yeah. Uh, yeah, poof. Pop goes skeleton. The skeleton. So right now, again, okay. only necromancer standing. I'm gonna point my flame for him. Go for it. Well, and now I'm he gonna, definitely I'm gonna, will I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, uh... Uh, this no, that's not. I just want to uh, pr prove my skills. And uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, seven on the save. 
Oh. Two damage. Two points of damage. Wow, we. <laughs> okay. Could have gone better. That was my moment. That was my chance to shine. Yeah. The... It was. Yeah. You had. To is, what it is. is that your turn? <laughs> yeah. Can't do anything else. Ambrose. Death saving throw, please. Oh, here we go. 20, 20, 20. Chat, beg for a 20. Is it 20? <gasps> that's, it that's, that's, nice. that's, that's 20. Dude, that's, that's 20. That's 20. Yes. That's 20. So you regain wow. consciousness with one hit point. Oh, no, he regains consciousness with one hit point. <laughs> yeah, on the natural 20, oh. you regain consciousness with one hit point. <laughs> so yeah, you yeah. are prone? I thought it was just two successes. No, damn. natural 20 is you get up. You're 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 a lot. You're just awake again with one HP. Uh, you're still prone. <laughs> you're still prone, but you're, you know, I'm you're you're there. You're, there. I'm back. you're 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 in it. You're in it. Nice. Just just for me, that means because I went down, all my my hexblade thing is gone, right? Correct. All magical effects affecting you disappear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Is that my turn, or can I can I do something? That's, that's my turn, right? Be, wouldn't it just be concentration ones that went off, like ones that have a separation? True. I think the uh, yeah, no, that is true, because the wild magic, like you're not the one in control of that. That just happens. So the shield is still up. I'm assuming your hexblade stuff is concentration, or um, maybe not. I think so. But I'm gonna gonna double check. Maybe fucking not. I don't, dude. Who, fu who fucking knows? DMs can't be expected to remember everything every about everything. Yeah, true. It doesn't say. It's just that I can do it once per short rest. It doesn't say if it is. No, wait. It is until the target dies. I die, or if I'm Inca... incapacitated. No, if... Yeah, incapacitated. Yeah, that yeah, that's unconscious. That yeah, that, so yeah. You, that, 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 will, that will have okay. faded. The shield, however, remains. The shield spell and the immunity for or uh, the magic missile is still uh, is still in, in effect. Nice. Um, let me quickly check for you. Um, technically, and this is the wording, right? You make a death saving throw at the beginning of your turn, which means. That now that you've not 20 it and you're you're kicking with one oh. HP, you still have your action bonus action re and movement, so you still got a turn. You better have something good. Because it doesn't say like normally it's like, like oh at the, the end of their the turn they make a saving throw. This is at the beginning when you start a turn with zero hit points. You need to make a death save. Therefore, you still have your action bonus action and movement. As a result, okay. of getting up. Spell right now, just kill him okay. from the ground. <clears throat> I need to. I need to think. I need to think. So I don't I have He's looking rough. Have He's not looking shit. very good. I mean, after any... I need to just get hit for two damage. <laughs> are, there a... are, there any... are there any skeletons up? No, nope. no right? No. no, it is just no, a necromancer. So hit him. Fuck it. I'm... So if you got something this big, the now's the time. I'll accept I'm going to use half my movement to stand up. Yes. The ones yeah. like... Oh, I had hit my nap. <laughs> I'm not done with you! <laughs> I miss Sesame Street because of you! And I'm gonna go for uh, Chaos Bolt. Okay. Yes. Because, fuck it. Uh, range spell attack. Do it. It's a shame your turn was after mine, so you don't get the advantage. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's a fucking shame that my hexblade is gone, because that's a natural 19. It does hit? Oh. Um, that that does hit. Crit, otherwise, but shame. Can okay. Kill him. Okay, 1d6, 2, d8. Okay. Oh god, we had a we wait, we had a Yeah, donation. that's that's from uh, that's from Opti Stream because I know that name. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's okay. a that's yeah. a high okay. safety both. And no it has no IRL. message from yeah. D&D, so we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. You nearly gave us a heart attack then, Laura. <laughs> I was like, no. Seven, eight, no, please. 8 plus 7 15, 15 damage. Um, how do you want to finish him off? <laughs> yes. Nice. Yo, man! Very nice. I love Very nice. I love the like, mental image of that, how me, me and like, the lizard are like, fighting this real hard for <laughs> battle. Get up and... and the KO guy just stumbles oh. back to his feet. Yeah. Let us off one step. Okay. That finishes okay. It. Don't I, I, I just stand up and I say, I have a message from the other side for you. They're waiting. Oh. And I just. Oh. 
pop the thing and I, I normally the gems lit up a little bit this time the whole head of the of the of the raven just starts to have starts to glow in like black magic and it just shoots at him ass. hell yeah a little message <laughs> from the raven queen Hello. as you do this oh that's that's the, the entire body of the necromancer starts to levitate higher up in this uh, higher up into the room floating higher and higher as he spreads his arms and like spreads his legs you can just hear this like guttural scream as slowly his entire body begins to dissolve beginning at his feet and slowly working its way up his body and just the, the screams of pain and agony as this is happening until those screams suddenly stop when the process is done and nothing remains but just his flaky ashes kind of falling down we'll stay that way for 1d 10 days until it comes back <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um we'll say for the sake of brevity because uh we're getting late and i kind of want to wrap it up here as um again it's laura's fucking character dude i don't know what it is you think it was it's milosu <laughs> Uh, wakes up you go around the room and you find along uh, necromancer's belongings a silver skull that, that that like fell to the floor as he dissolved that he was seemingly wearing around his neck worth about 25 gold and a book that he was holding labeled just necronomicon a black leather bound tome blood red a hexagram embossed on the cover um, you also, um, kind of gather, gather your, your, your bearings and, and when, uh, the necromancer fell, you follow a path into a door and behind that door, you find a stairway that eventually leads up to faint torchlight. As you climb up, you kind of emerge in a crypt, but above ground, in a graveyard or cemetery of some sorts. You open the gate that that kind of like is is meant meant to be locked, but you can tell that the lock has been broken and somebody broke in. Assuming this necromancer broke in. To this crypt and and went underground and kind of made it his, made it his lair. You continue your travels, and then um, you get to the near nearby town. The next day, seeing panic and and bounty posters, it's mentioning this 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 wizard performing necromantic rites rites at a nearby graveyard. That ringing a bell, you go to collect that bounty because you have taken care of it. You are each awarded 500 gold pieces. Oh, wow. And with that, we end the uh, the one shot here. Also, it's really Ooh. quick, but like before we left and did all that, like once I came up, I would have had a moment of just looking like near euphoric and be like, he's gone. He's gone. I've done it. I've done it. It's over. And then I just do a test spell and like I do the control flame and it works and then I just start like screaming and swearing and have a bit of a temper tantrum and then I'm just very morose for the rest of the time. <laughs> okay. Aww. So, Aww. hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for everybody uh, that came here to watch, lit. came here to play. Ending was so badass. That was, oh. that was that was a good one. That was like that, that final fight was fucking intense. Thank you so much everybody <laughs> for the generosity you've shown today. Uh, we started the stream We've since there over the past like four hours raised almost almost a hundred almost a quick hundo for charity that was awesome uh, we'll be running another one shot uh, different different setting but you know similar like incentives and all that next week uh, next Wednesday uh, so far the only confirmed player I have is is Hal um, so okay. other than that uh, I'm gonna still reach out to some people because I know Hunter Omega for yeah. instance and some others have reached out yeah. about wanting to to play in one of them yeah. um. So more info on that probably this Sunday, once I have everything set up. Uh, tomorrow on this channel, we'll have Dungeon Discourse. We're going to have uh, Koiba and Vincent. Vincent, who is uh, the first guest of Campaign 2. We're going to have a little talk Woo. to him about his character and all that stuff. And we're going to discuss the last episode of uh, Dungeon Select as well. So be there. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you so much for the awesome generosity. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I really enjoyed Great. seeing you guys like get creative with some of the like incentives of like you know redeeming rewards for donating. Very cool. That wild magic yeah. shit yeah. is fucking cool. A lot and of even fun. The falling rock, the classic. Um, <laughs> We yeah, do a the quick classic raid rock off. falls. The, the, he didn't die, but he definitely took some damage. <laughs> yeah. And that was a oh. very intense last fight. For a second there, I was, I was <laughs> thinking, oh my god, are we going to have our first TPK on our hands? We have never um, actually had one. Got, got, uh, I'd close. love to say something. Oh. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dutch, for like running this one shot, by the way. Yeah, no worries. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you for yeah, being here because so I know uh, I know well, you were pretty nervous about you know being being on stream playing D and D and all that stuff, and I'm glad <laughs> glad you were here. It was fun playing D and D with you. First time I've actually done D and D without a battle map, so this was this was amazing. I did you, you you do it brilliantly. Thank you. Yeah, I was gonna say because I remember that was like a you know kitchen hours, so yeah, you did great. Appreciate that, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, Duke's still live. He's uh, raising money for charity so select so as well. Opti. Opti's just drunk. Oh, wait. Opti's still alive? Shit. I don't think we follow him Thanks on the Dungeon Select account. Hold on. Okay. No. We're going to raid Opti because he's doing drunk Euro Truck. And he also has cool <laughs> donation incentives. You crash his truck with your donations and shit. Yes. It's hilarious. Um, so we're going to raid Opti, uh, who's also been on Dungeon Select last campaign. Smile. Yeah. Um... Awesome dude, know him, uh, met him at school, like, at college when I was, like, 18. And then kind of lost contact, and then through Twitch, got back, into, in, back in touch, like, a few years ago. And now he's part of Level Select, and he's a gamer, he's a cool dude. Um, Show the man some love. He's a he's a beautiful man. With a, it will with be a, fun with a great taste what... in music, and a, just horrible at driving trucks in video games. And in it, it will be <laughs> hilarious to see what effect our, like, dear... D D donations had on his yeah right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here everybody uh we'll be live here again tomorrow take care have a good night bye bye as i struggle to find the fucking scene to switch to there we go <laughs>